guys, welcome to, to Hyper, Hyper Creative. rundown of everything that we have got going on here today. First of all, Malika Lim is going to show us the basics of 3D modeling using um, a little substance you might be familiar with from your childhood called Play-Doh. It's going to be great. <laughs> and then we have Jessica Marzipan and Alberto Serratino from Microsoft. They're going to show us exactly how to get started with the Microsoft Creators Update. We also have an interview today with the amazing artist Angela Sung, and you may know her from the very special works uh, she worked on Legend of Korra. She worked on Korra. She worked on Korra. That's I am honored just to be in her presence. That <laughs> is one of my favorite shows in creation. <laughs> After that, we are going to have a Battle Royale in Jackbox Party Pack Volume 3, TKO. We will be paired with some awesome Twitch creative artists and we'll coach them through making the perfect t-shirt design. Last but not least, the Hyper Creative Competition. Malika made a VR art gallery showing off all the projects and we, along with Zach, will be judging the entries. The winner of the contest gets one of these super sweet Microsoft Surface Studios, which basically takes up a, a solid third it's of this huge, table. It's huge, guys. It's <laughs> huge. But first, let us introduce Toki Monster back in the Paint 3D Remixing hey. Station. Hey. Toki, tell us a little bit about yourself. What are you going to be doing today? Uh, I'm going to draw, or I'm going to paint a hand because creating with your hands. Yay. Yay. Yay! Also, hands are like, hands are tough to draw. Like, I think yeah. people underestimate like they how difficult be. the shape of human, like, Phalanges, is that what the fingers yes. are called? Yes. <laughs> I just made that word up, probably. So if someone <laughs> was to uh, be intrigued and interested in your artistic ability at drawing hands, where can they go to check your stuff out at? Uh, Pip yourself out a little bit. Um, I stream on Twitch uh, every weekday. This week's been a little chaotic, but um, uh, my channel is slash Toki Monster. And nice. I draw and paint all kinds of weird stuff, a couple of fan arts, and looking at a giant blizzard fan art fighting Ooh, kind of nice. Heroes of the Storm style piece right now. Awesome. So, yeah. Can we get some hype in the chat for creative streams? Woo <laughs> um, we'll be checking along the remix in station periodically throughout the stream. Um, before we throw it over to Malika, we want to give you a little bit of info about ourselves. Um, I actually was told to be an art therapist, and I've been doodling, doodling up in a storm since I was this morning. Mm. So. I actually, it's, the funny thing is, I'm not a total noob when it comes to art. It's just that my like artistic progress in terms of like the technology that's available for creating art stopped somewhere around about 2003 when I was, you know, in high school. <laughs> but you're gonna pick it back up again. I am. I totally am. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm jazzed. I'm like in the presence of so much great creativity, and I. I fully intend to learn beyond the basics of Photoshop that I learned in 10th grade. Well, I, I hope that you guys are like us and you are inspired by others' creativity. So uh, real quick, we're going to head over to Malika over at the Play-Doh station. <laughs> Give us a moment. <laughs> Hi. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun today playing with Play-Doh. Yay! Yay! Or um, non-branded modeling compound. Anyways. Um, Emma's gonna join yes, us. Exactly. And what I think is gonna be fun is to just talk about some basics of okay, sculpture. Yeah. Step one is to collect as much reference material as possible. Okay. And my reference material is really interesting. So I have these mm -hmm. like contour drawings, which are just outlines right. of bunnies. And would you, and like nowadays with the internet being as as vast and easily oh, yeah. accessible as it is, is that where you would get most of your, your reference? I also collect skeletons. Like actual skeletons of dead things? You don't like have a, an, a real skeleton of a human being. Those are really expensive. They are really uh, expensive. But I have uh, studied them. I have studied, okay. uh, I have done something called gross anatomy. So I have studied nice, lots nice. of reference. Something that really helps is not only like rabbit reference, but mm -hmm, also mm -hmm. um, turnaround. 
uh, profile view, side view, okay. top down view. Right, right. So instead of just getting like the most adorable mm. bunny pictures ever, right. also getting all these different angles okay. are going to help you create a 3D object. Right. right, okay. You know, what is interesting is you can research other artists' interpretations because okay. animators and other 3D artists, they mm -hmm. often draw all the views. Additionally, mm. um, if you're trying to model something that an industrial designer or an architect might have designed, mm -hmm. it's very likely that you can find their 3D mm -hmm. models and see the top down view, the side view, the bottom view, you know, the quarter angle, everything. So artists at like Pixar, they always make, or not always, many times will make a sculpture out of clay yeah, before for sure. they model it in 3D. So what's really interesting is when you study especially kind of the muscle structure and this contour, mm -hmm. what are the really big kind of uh, key points that make a rabbit uh, identifiable? Of course, the ears. ears and Anything a else? cute little nose little and nose. a cottontail. Exactly, and a cottontail. Um, I would say... <laughs> Oh, all right. Sounds like it is time to switch up the artists that we have over in the hot seat. So who do we have coming in now? Sticky. Hey. 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 Um, I would say the <gasps> cheeks are really important. So when on a rabbit, of, yeah, sure, sure. When you think of Roger Rabbit, when you mm -hmm, think of Thumper mm -hmm. from Bambi, yeah, they do. Uh, they have very they articulated have, cheeks. They have an exaggerated cheek. Mm -hmm. uh, they also tend to have an exaggerated brow that mm -hmm. you can see is very prominent in the bone and the muscle mm -hmm. diagram. And then also um, like big feet. So I, I started creating, it's not, this is not a turtle rabbit. I, I created, I was running out of different colors of clay. Rabbit. But it also shows like, I think of these big basic shapes first. Mm -hmm. Right, like this is kind of like a squish sphere, and this is kind of a squish sphere. Right, and then like I would blend this together, but in Remix 3D, you you know you have these basic shapes like cubes, like oh, spheres. Oh, nice! And so you could squish two spheres. Oh, cool! And approximate so that. So I was gonna say, so by actually physically sculpting what it is that you're making you are starting with kind of basic shapes. Right. And so then, as you're saying, in Remix 3D, you don't actually have to completely right. start from scratch right. when you're rendering. So Can I see uh, the front happen. of your <laughs> bunny so far? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it's coming together. You know, you did not make one of the number one noob mistakes, Ooh. which is I have to congratulate oh, yes. you on. Oh, yes, awesome. So, a lot of people, um, when you're drawing or you're sculpting or you're making stuff in the computer, you have this preconceived notion in your mind mm -hmm. of what it looks like versus what it actually looks like. Mm. So the number one mistake that I see when people do rabbits is they put the, the eyes in front of the head. And oh, you're like, yeah. wait, instead of like yeah, back on the sides. On the sides. Yeah. Exactly, and at first you're like, wait, rabbits do have, I've seen the front of a rabbit, I see their eyes, but you can see that's from the profile <laughs> I, view, right? I like that you're such an expert on uh, the common mistakes when sculpting a rabbit. You're a real, you're I, a real I have explored, rabbit rendering expert. I have explored. <laughs> The bunny form. So, <laughs> so our, you know, our logo at Hyper RPG is a really stylized rabbit, it is a stylized right? It's got rabbit. like, like really pointy ears, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it exaggerates kind of the main parts of what we recognize as a rabbit, right? That's true. So the ears are really long, yeah. And then you see rabbits have this kind of like a uh, strong arch to their back, mm -hmm, so it's almost mm -hmm. like a triangle. And then the the back leg is much larger. Oh, They're kind of a bottom yeah, heavy yeah, animal. Yeah, they are. So in our logo, it's They're... it's really um, it's really strong as well. And what's really interesting is how far you can stylize that, but it reads immediately as a rabbit. I don't think yeah. anybody would be like, oh, that's oh, a I turtle. Don't, I don't know if that's <laughs> a rabbit or not. Uh, and it's yeah, I agree with you on that. It's because with the stylization, they they um, exaggerated what you recognize as a rabbit. I'm gonna put a little bit more clay, or maybe a yeah. stump in the front of this bunny to get him to just like, <laughs> or, or maybe they'll just yeah, they're just, just like oh, they're like little uh, <laughs> they'll just scrap yes. Malika. Well, this is what you just talked about that the Greeks didn't know I about know, gravity. They didn't know they about know gravity. That. Oops, <laughs> I forgot about my art history. Even though it was already invented. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I mean, there's all sorts of tricks too, where we could hollow out the head mm -hmm. so it will be lighter, so it wouldn't fall forward. Right, right, of course. But, you know, I think one of the most important things to anybody who's making art, whether you're a seasoned professional or a noob or somewhere in between, is to remember how forgiving the medium is. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to remember that when you're drawing with a Sharpie. 
Yes. <laughs> But when Sharpies you're working, tend to be very permanent. Yeah, when you're working with clay or working with digital, uh, there's just so much forgiveness. So if, oops, my oh, rabbit no. fell, and it looks like this now, you know, it's like, oh, I can just, ta-da, I've already recreated kind of my rabbit. Yeah. So, um, that All can is be, not lost. That can be extremely freeing because you never want to feel trapped. Mm -hmm. And I, I think mindset-wise, if you ever feel like, no, I can't do this, I can't do art, that. I'm like, no, that's like, I, in my humble opinion, that's mm -hmm. not in the spirit of creativity or art making. I completely agree with you on that. I think that's definitely true. Would you say that sometimes even the biggest, I don't know, kind of successes come out of what were initially sort of mistakes? Because as you say, it is a very forgiving media. Oh, um, absolutely. And, um, you know, I did not intentionally, uh, you know, intend to make a rabbit that had many different color clay. But now I'm kind of interested in this turtle rabbit. I know. Rabbit. I like turtle rabbit. Well, I like I, turtle rabbit, I right? want to know his story. And now I'm like, oh, maybe a character in my next game is going to be mm, turtle rabbit. Turtle rabbit. Right? Uh, it kind of um, combines, like, tortoise and the hare. Maybe there's Into something. One. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So, like, there's if, I, if there was something inside of me that was, like, no, oh, that's a dumb idea. That kind of like stunts your creativity. Yeah. So just, just have fun, guys. I was going to say, would, do you have any advice for people that like maybe are having a hard time kind of getting over that hump of like, oh, I'm doing a bad job? Oh, okay. So you, uh, to riff off of that, you said <laughs> something earlier. Um, some people are, they, they will tell me this. Oh, Malika, you're so talented. I could never draw. I can't even draw a straight line. And I'm like, I can't. I can't draw a straight I, line. I use, <laughs> I use a ruler. But it brings up a really important point. Um, playing with Play-Doh is something that's really emphasized in elementary school. Yeah. You know, drawing with crayons. I think that's wonderful. Most people, by the time they get to middle school, high school, they stop using the tools. Mm. And when they're like... 28 years old and they're like, oh, I can barely draw a stick figure. It's because you stopped drawing when you were five, yeah. seven, eight, nine. Of course you draw it like a nine-year-old. So it's definitely a learned skill. Mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted to like, when you were like, ah, I haven't like touched Photoshop um, since mm -hmm. I was uh, in 10th grade or something. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, it's it's a skill. It's like a muscle and you can exercise it and you can just become great at whatever you want. And then how would you go about basically like transferring what you physically made to actually like drawing it in a, in a program on a computer? So mm -hmm. you know what's really mm -hmm. rad and we got to wrap this up soon is you could photograph this oh. perfectly from the side and from the front, take those photographs and put two planes like for the background right, right. and the side. And then when you're squishing your sears and making your bunny in paint 3D, right. you have this perfect aligned reference oh. so that it's the same okay. height from this side and this view. Gotcha. And you can trace it in 3D. Nice. So you would it would literally just be drawing on top of yeah. the image that you had put in there. Almost, Absolutely. Almost in a way like old school, like motion capture kind of stuff, like rotoscoping. Yeah. But in or a, like on 3D a more scanning. advanced level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but totally. like you're tracing it by hand in 3D. Nice. Well, that is very cool. I think my, my rabbit's feet are a little a little janky. But I, you know. I love I love the color choice. I know. Yeah, it's a it's a really fun uh, rabbit. I feel like this is the the essence of my soul. It's pink <laughs> and purple, and uh, you know, what do you think? What's your rabbit's name? Um, my rabbit's name is um, Princess Fluffy Pants. Princess mm -hmm. Fluffy. Yeah. What about I, what's your rabbit's um, name? Like. I will, mm. It kind of reminds me of Yoshi, so uh, but it's a bunny, so yep, I'm gonna call him it. Boshi. I don't Boshi. know. I don't know. If that's something else. That's, that's, that's more creative than yeah. I, I would have just. I probably would have just done Yoshi Bunny. So it's Boshi, <laughs> the and, green bunny. And aside from from Play-Doh, which we use today, which obviously is something that's very easily available yeah, to it's everybody. Cheap, non -toxic. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. So I, it, to me, it sounds like anybody really can Absolutely. get started doing this. Yep. And all you got to do is uh, is let your creativity flow. Yep. Absolutely. What a wonderful message. Thank you for playing with Thank Play-Doh with me today. Absolutely. And now let's see how we could maybe move 
Play-Doh Princess Fluffy Pants into an actual 3D model using some of the features in Remix Studio. We're gonna turn it back over to Pamela and our friends from Microsoft. Paint3D makes creating a 3D model as easy as a doodle. From the 3D menu, scroll down to the 3D Doodle tool. The Sharp Edge 3D tool is great for creating a cookie cutter shape. Connect the dots to make your doodle 3D. You can rotate your objects, adjust the depth, and put together your final model. Select the soft edge tool and draw another doodle in the workspace. The soft edge 3D tool makes puffier 3D objects. From just one tool, you've got what you need to make all kinds of stuff in 3D. Very nice, and I implore you viewers out there, if you guys feel free to have fun with some Play-Doh, send us your pictures at hyper underscore RPG on Twitter because we want to see your creative stuff. But speaking of creative stuff, I have Jessica Marzipan and Alberto Ceditano. And uh, Alberto is actually the uh, one of the art directors on Windows 10, and he has a profound amount of experience. Um, and he is going to be using some of his favorite tools to create in uh, Paint, 3, uh, Paint 3D while we chat. Um, uh, so what can you guys tell us about the new creators update? So I started at Microsoft about a year ago. I think everyone in the Thumper community remembers me from my days of you know eating candy and, and getting a little crazy. But I started <laughs> at Microsoft about a year ago and I had no idea that I would be working on amazing, crazy, creative projects. But um, last October, Microsoft announced their new Windows 10 update, which is called the Creators Update. So there's this huge investment in creativity and creators. We have the, the Surface Studio. Um, Alberto and our, our amazing team are making awesome tools like Paint 3D, which if you've downloaded the Creators Update, are on your computer right now and we'd love to see you make stuff and we have a creative community called remix3d.com so i mean you know as a person who feels creative but doesn't necessarily always know where to get started if you hand me a blank piece of paper i feel kind of bombarded all the time by uh just creative tools that are being thrown at us and alberto um has a lot of really cool creations that are on Remix 3D right now. Yeah, what are you, you gonna make today? Well, uh, before that, I want to give you a little context why this is important. Uh, you know, like two years ago, more Wait than two minute. years ago, <laughs> uh, uh, we announced HoloLens. And since then, all the industry has been moving forward to uh, AR, MR, uh, VR, all, all those experiences. All the Rs. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you know, the engine of those, the, 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 the fuel, of those experiences is 3D content. Mm -hmm. and, and the user has a dependency on professional 3D artists and uh, uh, really complex uh, tools to create 3D content. What if we have the vision? What if we enable everyone to do that? So we have a program called 3D for Everyone who has different products, and Paint 3D is one product that enables creation. And as they were saying, uh, you know, creativity, drawing is one of the human, you know, uh, pretty much main experiences that you do and, and it's in all of us so we live in a 3D world so 
Let's, let's experiment with 3D drawing. I'm excited to see what cool. you can do. And yeah, now, so, you guys said before that uh, if, if everybody has done the creator's update on Windows 10, you have this on your computer, correct? Yep. yep. Oh, it's on your computer. I had magic under my fingertips and I had no idea. Guys, you've unlocked a treasure trove of silly memes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Since, since we are in the animal theme, one thing that I like to do is owls. I have an affinity for oh. owls. And one, one of my favorite tools in, in Paint 3D, we have all support in 3D. So I use, you know, an, as a natural practice, as an artist, I, I sketch, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and I, I use the background sketching as a guiding for my 3D creation. <laughs> so, so cute. <laughs> no. And while, while Alberto is drawing, if you guys have questions for any, like, any of us here, please feel free to let us know in the chat. We will, we are watching the chat. We see it in front of us right here. So let us know if you have any questions. Oh my god! Chat, we see you. We see you, chat. We see. We seen it. We seen it. It's okay. I have my base, which is pretty much Ice Hulk, very simple. Just that time, not happening. This is not that stream. <laughs> I know. We're making creations. I'm going to start using a few tools in 3D. Uh, the one that I, I use a lot is this one called 3D Doodle, which is pretty much like the Play-Doh. Is, 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 is it a mask that you just yeah plop you down create uh, then... as a familiar 2D drawing you'll see how can I follow the body of this little owl and it's going to give me a mesh on oh! 3D that I can rotate and I can give a little thickness there and I have, oh I, I have it already there. It's a little doodle. So yeah, magical. a little doodle in 3D. <laughs> now, uh, let's keep building on this guy. So let's make a little bit of peak here. Uh, it's going to give me another Yeah, Oh my god! I love how that one in particular, I want to make a little I feel like I'm watching a magic show, but it excites me because, like, oh my gosh, these are real reactions on that. This, oh my gosh. So, since we are working in 3D space, I have control on the depth. Oh my so gosh. I can, I can how, how, are you, how are you changing the angles? Like, I, oh. how? Uh, I have all these UI elements here, and that one is the one who is allow, allowing me to now, play with the Now, is that something that you turn on, or is it no, something that's as soon there? As you, select there okay. you select your different objects, and then you have those implicit. UI elements. Oh my god! And then, because we are playing in in tab, I can also rotate. No, See that? No. And I can select several one, and I can, you know, while I'm playing, I can rotate in the space. Uh, I'm working my shapes. Wait, are you simultaneously <laughs> making like feathers and the beak at the same time? Yeah, because it's working it, magic. It, oh my gosh, that's crazy! <laughs> this is craziness. Oh no. I'm trying to, okay, select both of them. Okay. There you go. Now let's make the, the eyes. So let's go back to the 3D tools again, the same one that I like. Let's find another color. The cool thing here, you have all the spectrum of the color and you can select any color that you have. And here the palette, that I chose. Usually, I like to use a control color palette. So, mm -hmm. so my, my my piece is pretty consistent. It has some even uh, you know interesting colors. Now, there, I'm sure there's a lot of viewers out there who are. I mean, I hope you guys are as excited as I am right now because I'm super. I had no idea that this magic was on my computer. So, a lot of people don't actually have tablets. Now, what, this functionality is it is it is it okay to use with a mouse? Like, is yeah. it tough yeah. or mm -hmm. no? Nope. You can use. Um, pens with uh, inking, but you can also definitely use just, you know, regular click mouse. That's what I tend to use. So, um, available for both. What I'm using right here. Oh. Remix! We're bringing a new artist into the remix station. What are they going to make? <laughs> Bye, Sticky! Thank you. Who do we got? What are we? What are we? Vicious? What are you going to, what are you going to add to that? What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> I'll try to be He's creative. just gonna roll with it. <laughs> I guess we'll 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 keep watching on the little Paint 3D mi remixing station right there. See what he's working on. I love this art jam. It reminds me of um, it's called Exquisite Corpse. Don't ask me why it's called Exquisite Corpse because that does not sound exquisite at all. Well, I mean, Malika was talking about skeletons in her closet. So I mean, what's stopping us from Exquisite Corpses as well? Joe, so, I'm almost done with the eye. I think I have one eye. I can group. Can you duplicate it? I can duplicate, I'll show oh. you. Uh, I just 
I, I have here I select my object, copy and paste, and I have a new one. Ah, and nice. I can, you know. Is this a happy owl? Is he it like, like a, he's a he's angry owl? Too late. Yeah. He's not like, and he's like, ugh, daylight hours. Exactly. It's yeah, an I, owl representing the, the game, my inner gamer. Actually, I have an idea here to create a little late. contour on, around his side. So as I have all my 2D brushes and they work in 3D, let's use this one, the can, spray can, uh, this little dark color here. Start making some Nice. Um, for, for, for the eyes. That's almost, awesome. Almost like and when you have the body part mascara. selected, it makes it so that it's not marking on the other. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. He's got eyeshadow on. I know. <laughs> Girl, I need to tell me about how you're doing your contouring. It's real nice. Let's do a little color also on the peak. <laughs> now it's just a crazy awake blob. I, I love know. it. <laughs> But it's, it's pretty cool because you can, you know, uh, disassemble your, your creation and you can try multiple things. One thing that I like to do is like shading different colors. Uh, so, so, so it looks very illustrative, illustra like, like, like pretty much the work that I like to do in 2D. This is, but it's oh man, that's awesome. I'm yeah. overwhelmed and inspired in the same instant. I love this so much. And Alberto, you're creating from scratch using 3D Doodle yep. and a lot of the, um, a lot of the brushes, but can you show our viewers really quickly um, that they can bring in objects from the community as well? Yeah, in case see. you're like me and if you have a blank piece of paper, I'm like, I don't know what to make. I feel completely imprisoned now by this paper. I'm in a paper prison. I don't know what to do. But that's kind of the beauty of the Remix 3D. Yeah, let me show community. you that little feature. You see that icon here, it's our community icon. And what it brings is Remix 3 com, which is the, the site where we have all the creations of people who is, has been doing content. Uh, also, we have first party content that is made by the your team, mm -hmm. uh, so people can have a collection of different objects that are in high quality. Uh, and then we have a search system, for example, if we are looking for, I don't know, the. We have all sorts of different ones. Oh, wow. Creations oh that God. people have been doing, or, or 3D models that we, we have already, so people can explore and play. You know, we have different styles. How do you, how do you have, tell which ones are the ones that are that are provided from uh, viewers? Well, we have the attribution or? here, which is is oh, is, okay. is, 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 the per, is is the entity behind the model. Uh, all the Microsoft ones are the first party content that we're providing to help people to to start. Okay. Uh, if they are not professional, you know, okay. or or they need a little help. Uh, also, inside of Paint, we have if you go here, we have this basic. Figures. Oh, wow. uh, you know, we have a female 3D model here. Oops. Do you have one that's anatomically correct and not a, a, a little bit more cartoony? Like, if someone wanted to to use like the real human form, do you have something a little bit closer to what uh, a, an anatomically correct? Yeah. So you just go yeah. to the Remix community and you can type that in. Um, you. You can download models from other 3D programs and bring them into Paint 3D. So if you are a 3D modeler using Maya, you can um, import your models into the Remix 3D community and share your creations with people who are just oh, getting wow. started so they can remix your stuff in Paint. Yeah, and eventually th this community is going to grow. Yeah. It's going to grow, so so we're expecting that people is submitting. Is, their... is there a lot of other in or integration with other three D programs? Is it just Maya, or like could people import three D models from other programs as well? So there's um, different different inputs that you can do, and you'll see on the actual model in the Remix three D com community where it came from. So it'll say which three D program the object was made. Okay, in. okay. Let's do a little feather, you know. Uh, eyebrows. <laughs> now, if someone wanted to uh, say you take the shape and it's it's kind of got a little rough on the edges, can yeah. they shave that down so that um, you the can, edges? yeah, like like flip it on its side so that the edges are like soften them down? No, not at the moment, but we we are trying. We are improving the product. Oh, okay. 
So, so uh, we, creators we, update part 2.0. <laughs> yeah, I, I, also the creators of Dirty, we have a system that is feedback. And we mm -hmm. have all the people, the insiders and the people, the final consumer, who is, uh, we are receiving feedback all the time. Okay. And we are reacting to that. Feedback. Okay, yeah, yeah, if you're watching right now um, and you're like, hey, this feature would be amazing if you added it, um, we're paying attention to the chat room or you can leave a uh, comment in the feedback hub that's on Windows 10, or you can join the Windows Insiders and you can be part of testing and giving feedback for early builds. So we have people who are playing with um, builds of Paint 3D that are not released to the public yet. So we have several different ways to get involved if you're really, if you're really jazzed about what you're seeing. Let me show you another, another feature that we, we have. It's called stickers. And we have a, also a, you know, a set of different <laughs> stickers that you can apply in your models and pretty much they texture the model. Oh, okay. Uh, see? So it's a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. Nice. Uh, but also, we have the ability, also we have some realistic kind of textures if you want to create like a feather, you know. Oh, wow. So if and I wanted to make a stone it, owl. And okay. you keep applying that Oh, wow, times, look, see? it's a fuzzy owl. How is creating that texture? Okay. Uh, I won't do that right now because <laughs> I have another thing that you can do. You can create your own textures and you can import your own files. Uh, I I have a I prepare a little quick uh, PNG that is a texture. It's alpha channel also, so you can apply. Oh, cool. You know, oh, it's a wow. PNG, and then you can apply whatever your imagination <laughs> allows you. Oh. That's cute, yeah. and it's also messing with my eyes real hard. Oh. I can rotate what I did that. Oh my god, you I just made the, the owl sticker. turn completely like 360 without moving <laughs> yeah. its face. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, so like normal. Yeah, like, like an like owl. A normal owl. Just, you know, like yeah. no big deal. Uh, a lot of people asking in the chat room whether or not these are easily exported for 3D printers. Oh. They are. We, we, have, we have actually print right here. And we have 2D print what? and 3D print. Oh my gosh, so I'm cool. sorry, Chad, I apologize. Oh. I've been enthralled in what Alberto is doing right now. So I, <laughs> thank you, Zach, for keeping me accountable. I mean, look at this. This is, and like, if you're running Windows 10 with a creator's update, you have this on your computer right now. I mean, I, I'm sorry. Like, I, I really just want to go home and play. <laughs> I mean, don't be sorry, it's, it's okay. I, I really, <laughs> this is, this this changes the, yeah, the ease of access for, for creators. And I hope because of this, with, with this creators update, you'll see more creative streams on Twitch. I, I've looked for a platform with which to like create because I have a, I have a series I call Draw Some Gaming and this makes it super easy just to do on my computer. Oh, ease of quality of life, I love it. This is awesome, I'm excited. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, speaking of being excited, what feature about Paint 3D were you most excited about with the launch? In general, I like, you know, the good thing about, about uh, it, I paint also, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm very impatient. Uh, I don't spend three hours doing my paintings, so that, that's me. Yeah. And the, the 3D world also is very complex and you take a lot of time doing this. What paint does to me is like, uh, I can do 3D models as fast, uh, almost as uh, I can sketch. And, and that's my favorite part of the model because it's so natural. It's the same way that you 3D model the same way that you do 2D sketching or 2D drawing, uh, and that to me is is changing is is uh, game changing. We do we do live in a world where uh, instant gratification is key, yeah. and this provides a lot of uh, artistic expression, artistic release, and also instant gratification. <laughs> what do you think? How how this is looking? It, it looks uh, amazing. It's such a cute. He's got so much personality. Can the chat name the owl? Yeah. Is that possible? I feel like the chat should name the owl. You guys should name the owl. Oh. Uh, speaking of owls, Alicus in the chat room was wondering uh, how to access the update. So if you go to your settings, um, there should be an area <laughs> where the updates talking. are. And if your computer is primed for the Windows 10 Creators update, um, it will go through the series of updates and, um, you know, let you go through the process. And feel free to tweet at me at Jessica Marzipan um, if you want more detailed information. I can point you to 
um, the website that walks you through in detail how to get the creator's update. Um, and of course, after you download it, please, I'd love to hear feedback about um, all of the products. Like I said, um, my community team works on all of the Windows experiences, so Paint 3D being um, one of the earliest ones that came out with the creator's update, but there's lots of, lots of fun things. So let us know what you think, tweet at us, and um, I'm, I'm happy to help you download some, some new softwares. Oh my gosh. Another thing that I want to comment is like, uh, once I, I'm done with this creation, I'm gonna publish it in my Remix 3D account. So people can just uh, go and, and leave me comments on, uh, and if they like it or no, or just give me feedback. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this might be something uh, you guys don't know, and I only know because we've been playing around with it a lot, uh, Malika and I have. So he's saying when he finishes this, he's gonna upload it to Remix 3D. We'll show you that on air. You can just go to Remix3D.com and download that model. Uh, if you have the creators up there, you can open it and start drawing on top of what he made or 3D print it, or do whatever. Uh, take it into Unity, um, build a scene in Unity with the owl. Animate it. Really cool. Mm -hmm. And it's also looking like the the owl now has a name. It looks like the chat has chosen Owlicus. 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 I mean, that's... that is the name of this owl by popular demand. It's a wise name. It is. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just creating a branch where he's going to be, you know, standing. Uh, let's go back to my... So uh, this is Al branch. Sir Alicus. He's the branch manager. Uh. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> and, and, you know, the more time you spend on, on, on something, the more detail yeah. and, and, and better. Uh, you can see this quite fast. I could, I could seriously sit and watch you do this all day. And because we are working in 3D, you can, oh you gosh. know, work in different angles and make the, the branch a little, you know, tilted. Um, let me I feel like the Alberto is just so calm and patient yeah. and soothing. I'm yeah. just like, hey, can you I just can, like yeah. stream for I'm, a couple hours? I, I noticed how Zach came to use like, I'm going to give you guys notes, but I'm also going to watch for a little bit because this is super, this is so much, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see more creative streams on all platforms. Like I, I want to see more people get creative. So if this is as, as inspiring to you guys as it is to me, Make sure you share it, spread the word, get get the word out there because this is really cool. Okay, I think it's ready to, uh, then we have this feature so you can explore ah! your 3D creation. And then we have a uh, notion of filters, but those are filters in 3D, which pretty much is different lighting environment. So this is the default, but you can apply different kind of uh, ambient light. <laughs> oh my God. It's awesome. Just to, yeah. you know, which one is the one that looks better, or, or then we have this wheel that can sh it changes the the light source, you know? Oh my gosh, that's super handy. Model. Even even if just for traditional drawing, if someone wanted to bring in a 3D model, put it in, change the lighting. Because I remember when I was when I was going to school for art, the hardest part for me was figuring out the light source and how it affects the model. So this is actually pretty handy. Uh, multiple applications other than just creating in this platform. Oh my gosh, I just want to like, <laughs> I'm flailing right now, I'm so excited. What and a little cutie. Done, uh, you can share. Oh, that's something you can share. I think safe. Something went wrong. I, I like to think that the owl was saying that. Probably this video to have the publish. Um, but anyway, you can save it as a FBX, which is a, a 3D model. FBX? Um, yep. Okay. Uh, format. Uh, and then you can import it in, in, in 3D.com, which is a website. But I don't know if I can. So we'll, we'll, we'll save this and we will import this to Remix 3D. Um, Alberto's on Remix 3D and you can see a lot of his models. If you use any of Alberto's models, we would love for you to show us what you did with the owl or um, his, his fine little cat and his... You do a lot of cute animals. I, I do a lot. If, uh, I can show you a few ones that I did. Yes, please uh, show me. Um, 
Is so, it, can it get closer? Let me show you. I didn't know that I will before, but I also I did this little bird. Oh my uh, gosh! In a pink 3D. Um, as I told you, I like animals. Uh, I did this oh little pack as well. It's so, made out of... Oh. That particular one, or this one for example, that is probably is going to be better to the camera. Uh, <laughs> it has all the texture that I use uh, in my work. Applied as a sticker. Oh my gosh, I and love that your kind creative of a, style. You know, a rich kind of a picture. This is pattern. so cool. Can I see more? I want to yeah. see more. Yo, oh, look at that guy. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, you have to. <laughs> I know you're the art director, but I mean, like, I'm floored. This is so cool. Oh, I'm so inspired. This is so cool. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Well, that's an animation on the camera. Uh, that was not using Paint 3D, that's just... But it's just still yeah. showcasing. I, I created the model in Paint 3D, uh, exported as FBX, and then used another program to render out and wow. create animation. Wow. That's so cool. That is so cool. I just, I'm, I like, my head hurts. I'm so, I'm reeling right now. I'm reeling. What do you do? I was like, what's yeah. what yeah. going on back here? Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm check, check what this is. Oh, we got cartoons over here. Dude, oh, man, that's man. tight. Look, no, no, watch. I'm going to show you this thing. I'm, Alberto was no, just talking you, about no. it. Oh, that, my gosh. Look. That's, this was, is expensive hardware. Oh, don't worry. I'm going yeah. uh, I was gonna say trained hey. professional, but I'm not. Uh, let's see. If we get the bird. Uh, look, look, I'm gonna show you some things. Come on, man. We're all all right. Just, just, all just right. don't break it. All right. all right, I'm not gonna break it. Just trust me. You just gotta have trust. What is even going on right Ify. now? Yeah. Ify, what are you doing? All right, so. We're, no, we're in the middle of a show right I now. I know, but I want to find Albert those birds. Oh, I want to find out. Yeah, yeah, birds. yeah. I want to find the birds. I'm gonna put the birds in the oh, remix. Oh, okay. yeah. I think that will definitely improve. Yeah, yeah. That. See, that's what okay. I'm talking about. See, right. now we're. We, okay. What's this? What's this like unicorn? Thing? Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, perfect. Okay, magical unicorn. Oh, oh there oh, we man. go. Oh man, it's like a whole. What? Is, what happened? Uh. Uh, did you oh, kick I a, think I kicked a power switch. There we go. No. Sorry, I ruined everything. I really ruined everything. See, this time it wasn't me that I know, I know. Wait, 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 for real? Yeah. I literally, I, when I sat down, the power cord was literally right Are under my heel. Are you fucking kidding me? I know, I, I legit ruined everything, whereas Ify was supposed to ruin yeah, everything. Yeah. But it ended up being my fault that everything got ruined. Look, Ippy is uh, has a perfect record here at Hyper. <laughs> has not broken a couch or an item. Technically, there's a giant bolt sticking out of one I of those mean, chairs. You, of that the, could, there was many did booties. You, did you turn it back on? I did turn it back on. There's many booties on that chair. Yeah, I turned it back on. Wait, hold on. Yeah. On. Okay. Oh, now it's on. I think it's on. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you oh. know. Uh, I'm guessing that there's not an autosave feature on that. Pro probably not. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, the power cord was not in a great place. <laughs> should I should have run through uh, walking in here. Didn't know I was going to ruin everything. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Let's it up. Okay. Let's okay, see what maybe. happens. Yeah. See, I'm just keeping everyone on their toes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep, that, that HRPG smash. Hey. Yep. Three to five seconds. I like that this looks like a real pencil. It does look like a real pencil. Yeah, it feels like it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if my mic is live anymore, but I'm just gonna get in here, Jessica. I think someone's mic is live. Yep. Um, okay. So someone asked a question that I thought was really great, and um, I have done many times. Um, hello go. again. It's your favorite uh, almond flavored confection, Jessica Marzipan. <laughs> so someone asked a really good question, saying that Alberto actually sketched um, using the canvas tool on Paint 3D, sketched out his owl for reference, and then drew his owl in a 3D doodle. And someone asked, can you just draw like analog on a piece of paper and then bring that in? So yes, 100%, there's a few different ways you can do that. So you can import 
uh, your like JPEG or PNG okay. into Paint. Same way you would just do with normal okay. MS Paint. They wanted to make the features very uh, familiar in that way. Or you could actually import it as a sticker, which you, you saw Alberto do with some of the feathering textures. So you can import it as a, a sticker or um, a pattern if you cannot lick this. Right, well, <laughs> this is not yours. Okay, but, this, <laughs> I would, but you know, you know how some people like lick the tip of their pen. No, nope. uh, nope. no, what? I don't think not that's today. A thing. Okay, no, that that I know is a thing. When people are about to write, they lick the tip and nope. they. All right. Well, but you know what? Uh, let's see. okay. Let's, let's see. Let's see what I'm you're gonna create because you guys just totally ruined um, all, all of our amazing artist work. So <laughs> now you guys have to so make bad. a masterpiece in like 15 minutes. Okay, well, hey, listen, that you got 10, bro. I mean, if he said he was a trained professional, so, yeah, yeah, so what, what are so. you making? I'm, I'm just gonna get you know, just leave my mark and just know. <laughs> what is that? Look, I draw. Is that glasses? Yes. Look, I watched the the uh, artist from Hero Academia. He didn't use boxes. He didn't use lines. Oh. You know, I'm basically <laughs> just like him. Uh, and so I'm gonna do okay. My thing. All right. Did almost licking the tip of the pen there help? Yeah, yeah. Like, this is why I'm doing so good. Oh. This, you just unlocked your creative potential. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just gonna... <laughs> One man with a dream. <laughs> something else in between. And I got a little comfy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And then, you know, I don't have an afro, but I always draw myself with one because, you know, I Because like, in, your, in your heart, you have one. Yeah. In your, your soul. In is, my heart. In your soul, you are a man with an afro. Cartoon if he is a fusion between okay. me and my buddy Echo Kellum. Can I say uh, something? Can I say something kind of mean, but I don't mean this in a mean way? Okay. Right. Um, I, I, like, full on assumed that you would not be able to draw anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You didn't know. Your boy, your boy wanted to be an artist until Mr. Whitney... In 11th grade, I took oh. his drawing classes. He killed my inspiration. He, uh, he, anytime I drew anime pictures, he'd give me an F. And when I oh, did like no. real life drawing, he gave me an A. And I was like, oh. I, do, I wanna draw anime, you know? Wait, what do you mean? But like, so anytime you drew something that he felt you were trying to create an artist, like an accurate yeah, artistic representation he said the first thing he said in his class was mm -hmm. like, I don't like, uh, I don't like like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like abstract. Okay. All like, right. like he likes real life cool. art. And so he just straight up like was like, if you draw that, you're not going to do well. And wow, I still that's like that. very, what was this like specifically a life drawing class or this was just no, like was general just drawing. art? <laughs> it was drawing. Just drawing. One. Great. Fantastic. And he was like, nah, if you're not going for yeah. realism, you're done. You're done. Yeah. So this wow. is basically what I look like That's all the limiting. time. Can you add some 3D objects to it? Yeah. Yeah. So what's this? Okay, so is this, is this like a, is this you're just wearing a shirt that shows off your your yeah. eight pack you've got going on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Nice. You can do 3D doodles too. Okay. So let's 3D this chest though. Because <laughs> I need people to see how. And you're making it really angular too. Yeah. yeah. So pulling it down and connect it. Oh, okay. Oh, and so okay. Should probably add some lighter <laughs> colors to that. That this is how you do the the three D ing. Yeah. Nice. So now you can choose your color. Mm. Just click on it. Oh, oh that, that was a bad choice. Well, that, uh, <laughs> that, that did something. Hey, Ify, right. you're, you're you're the expert here. Come yeah, on. Yeah, look, look, I'm, I'm look. I'm trained I professional. Yeah, I haven't been in the three D world just yet, but I'll let you know. <laughs> And when I get there, oh, there, hey, see, that's, there that, you that's go. What I want. Now, now you got some that's definition. What I want. So, see, when, how would I want to undo? Undo right there. Oh. Ah, and actually, like you, awesome. you haven't touched this program before you walked on oh, yeah, no, screen, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's that. Is, it's that easy to pick up. And, and I'm not awesome. trying to like prompt you to say stuff. But oh yeah, no, I'm no, actually I'm, like I'm, very impressed with your ability right now. Oh yeah, see, I, I'll, I'll show you. A thing or two. All right, guys. There it yeah. is. <gasps> hey, look at it. That's good, Anthony. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's Man, like that's... a little, a little 
Well, cool. I'm really glad we get to save this creation. <laughs> Look, moral of this story today, always save your work. Always save your work. Did you guys save? Did you guys save? So it was supposed to be a joke if he ruins everything, but truly I was actually the one that ruined everything, so. Well, here's the result of our multi-artist art jam. We'll put it on Remix 3D. The community can take it and, like, continue. You can just add to I, I, add to the yeah, artistic I, representation of Ippy yeah. that resides in his soul. Yeah. You know, awesome. I have no arms, a red afro. Yep, yep. And I'm buff as hell. <laughs> well, I'm sure that our next segment's going to be um, considerably uh, less interesting uh, than this one, you and I mean. <laughs> Interesting. It's it's, I mean, interesting. I mean, interesting as a euphemism for disastrous. Uh, we're going to turn it over to Pamela, interviewing our wonderful artist friend Angela Sung. on Twitch right now. I am joined by Angela Sung. Angela, thank you so much for coming here to talk to us about the creative and your craft. <laughs> um, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Angela Sung. Um, I'm a, currently right now a layout designer on a show called Vanicula at Warner Brothers. Um, I've worked on in different studios like Nickelodeon, Wolf Smoke Animation, and a bunch of different types of studios, basically. But yeah, currently I'm in animation. Awesome. Uh, how long? How long would you say that you've been doing art? Um, doing art. I've started since I was 16. Oh. So yeah. Was it? Was there like a turning point? Was there like 
with me, it was Sailor Moon. Like, I, I watched Sailor Moon, I was like, I want to draw that. Did you have a turning moment for you? Um, well, I always liked Dragon Ball, but I guess when I started to play more games, I just got more into drawing. And then, like, Diablo 2 is my era. Nice. Yeah, so, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, what can you tell us about your art and, like, how, how would you describe it? Okay, well, right now, I think the current point of my art is more like a daily journal. So um, I use it as a way to check my improvement because sometimes I turn back to my old sketches and I'm like, oh, I drew that, <laughs> you know? And then, um, but my bigger goal is to eventually use art as a medium to kind of express what I really care about, the things that I really like, like environmental issues or like animal stuff. Yeah. Do you do you plan on kind of integrating that into a, a collaborative effort? Like you said, to, to create awareness. Um, do, do you have a way, a thought of a way to, you know, bring in other artists or to get people more involved in that? Um, I really like working as a team and uh, I think that would be great. But for right now, I think I need to plan out a story and then maybe assemble a group later on. So, okay, yeah. I get it. You're, you're thinking big picture and I'm thinking bigger picture later on down the road, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Uh, so, so what exactly is a layout artist? A layout artist or a background designer is also what we call it, is a person who draws the backgrounds and environments within an animation. So um, yeah, we just designed the environments for the characters to interact in. Is that what you did for Legend of Korra? Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. cool. Do you have... Um, do you have any certain inspirations that you take into account or like um, do you pull from a theme when you when you work on certain projects? Well, I could give you an example. Yes. So yes. <laughs> right now I'm... I, I was fishing for it, <laughs> but yes, thank you. <laughs> OK, so I work on Vanicula and it's set in New Orleans. Okay. And then um, a lot of the backgrounds are based off of architecture stuff based in New Orleans. And I would go on Google, look for it. And then um, I would typically look at a lot of reference before I start. So if I needed to design a kitchen, like each place has sort of a different look for their kitchens yeah. and I would take all the inspiration and then start to rough it out, get it approved by the art director and then clean it up and it goes through the approval process. So you did you just use Google Maps for it? Um, Google Maps or a Google image, they're all pretty good. You, didn't, you, you couldn't get them to like, <laughs> send me to New Orleans for a creative reference. I need to go tour this city. I, I should to totally do that <laughs> next time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you really, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to puff it up or anything, but you really need to get a vibe for it. It's I agree. Creative inspiration. <laughs> I need it. So, so as a layout, art, uh, layout artist, uh, what are, what are your responsibilities? Um, like I said, uh, so basically we do kind of have to look at the storyboards, see what happens within a sequence. And based off of all those sequences, we have to come up with an environment to showcase like all of the things that might happen within that area. And, um, we just make sure that the people who do the animation know how the environment looks like. Yeah. Awesome. So if, if people aren't familiar with Benicula, like, can you tell us a little bit more about where you work? Um, so Benicula is a show produced by Jessica Barutsky at Warner Brothers, and it's set in New Orleans about, and there's a vampire bunny um, with his crew, Chester and Harold, and then they just go on crazy adventures. I can tell by the way that you're smiling as you're explaining it that you're actually truly passionate about because I find that um, a lot of artists get, get kind of caught up in the you know the work engine part of it and like I got to do this for work. Um, do you do you find yourself you know having to fight against that feeling? Or are you honestly truly inspired by the work that you do? I'm really inspired, but I think the more important thing is like my crew is really awesome. I have really awesome coworkers and. It, they just make it really fun to draw. So, what is um, out of out of the experiences that you've had so far in Benicula? What is your most profound? Like, what is something that you look back on and you're like, yes, that's my favorite moment. Um, I really like painting at lunch with my friends, my coworkers. That's and then, cool. Yeah. Do you guys? So, is it like a weekly thing? Do you get together and paint, or? Um, so, I started a group called Warrior Painters, um, but with the help of all my friends, especially Michelle Lynn and Stevie, who are like really talented artists in the industry. Um, we formed a group called the Warrior Painters and we go out every week to paint. We have 700 members on Facebook and like 20 to 30 people that come out to paint with us consistently every week. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. I oh man, oh man, <laughs> the art world is so much fun. I love it. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your, uh, your plane, or I mean, sorry, you were telling me more. <laughs> you were telling me more about that. Um, uh, do you limit it to just the people that work in your office, or is it open to basically anybody that wants to come create? So um, even your viewers can come and join us. Like we have all different sorts of levels of people. So 
everyone has something to offer, I feel like, and I think that's what makes our group special. It's just really inclusive, and everyone's really nice and willing to help. So, yeah, you can where, come join us too. It, where's it based out of? I'm asking <laughs> for a friend. Los Angeles. You could find us on Facebook. Oh, so, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, not, I'm just going to put that there for later. <laughs> uh, um, so what is your process for layout design? Um, so uh, I would look at the storyboards, check to see what I need. Then I would go online, just look for reference. After I find the reference, I basically draw out a few rough ideas. Um, I would then narrow it down to maybe like three, and then um, I would ask the art directors what they like the most, and then go from there. Do you, um, so a lot of the work that you do, it relies heavily on constructive feedback. Do you find that um, as a employed creator that it's, it, is it harder to take that constructive feedback and apply it, or have you found a way to finesse that into an applied science? I kind of like that process of working together, but sometimes it is like kind of sucky because you do want to do things that you want, but like as a team, sometimes you have to make like certain sacrifices, but I think that's great and that's just the process of animation. Do you have uh, um, any sort of advice for any, any of our viewers out there who are interested in getting into art? Because everybody, everybody who has the inspiration to draw and has that creativity you know, knows to practice it, but what's what's some some applied advice that they can take and, and work towards uh, being a professional artist? I think it's really important to just not give up, like you said, and then um, also just keep drawing. And since we have the internet right now, it's really easy to reach out to different types of people. So I think you'd be surprised by how many, how nice people are sometimes, and they're really willing to help you out. So just shoot some emails to some people and yeah maybe you'll be surprised. Do you do you field a lot of emails that people send you often? Like um, questions and concerns? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people reach out to me on Tumblr a lot. So oh. yeah, and then I, I love it when they message me. So I try to message everyone back. And, I actually I actually checked out your Tumblr. So the, the art that you feature on there, is it, it are you just showcasing it or do you actually sell your art as well? Um, I sell my paintings, yeah. I have like a shop online or people could reach me directly and yeah. Do you, do you stream your art at all? Um, I'm thinking about doing like a YouTube channel or a oh, Patreon maybe. So. Girl, I'm excited. That's it. I, oh, I like, I, we were just watching Alberto draw before. That I was think really that, cool. I know, that. right? Yeah. Are you, does, does that not make you want to go out and do something like that? I was that? like, wow, that's cool. Yeah, are you going to do it? Gonna I'm going to do it. Gonna okay, do so it. you're going to email me and you're going to let me know what your Twitch is because <laughs> I want to know all about it and I want to watch. I don't want to host it because, oh man. I, uh. <laughs> I, I actually didn't even know that I was already familiar with your work, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your work in Shanghai? Okay, so when I was in Shanghai, I worked for a studio called um, Wolf Smoke Animation. Um, for those of you that don't know, you really should look at look for them because they did shorts called um, Shanghai Batman and Kung Fu Cooking Girls. Have you heard about that? <laughs> Shanghai Batman, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> when I heard, saw that there was an opportunity, I knew I had to jump on it. I was a su layout supervisor over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, and... Um, it was really hard because like the culture was really different and then the boss was really hard. I remember the best day I had in Shanghai was a day where I had no notes on my background. So that that tells you a lot about Wow. Yeah. And so an average day, what the amount of notes would you average? Like how many? So sometimes the background would go up to like five rounds of revisions. Oh geez. And then yeah, it still wouldn't be approved. So it's kind of discouraging, but then I learned so much that now I look back, it's really worth it. What, um, how long were you in Shanghai? Um, almost two years. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, did you, um, uh, what, what was, what was the most complicated part about being in Shanghai? Work and, you know, living situation, I guess. Um, it was such a different culture that I felt like it was kind of hard for me, even though like I'm Asian, to adapt into that culture. But it also opened up my mind to experience something different. And now I'm like really curious about what the world has to offer and I'm really excited about just seeing what I could do in the next few years. How do you think that that trip, uh, I guess, affected the work that you do today? So um, Wolf Smoke is a cool company because it was started by two people. All the shorts are mostly done by two people. And when I saw them working so hard, I knew that maybe I could do something cool like that. So I think they really inspired me to maybe go pursue what I really believe in. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, do you have any plans on doing any sort of other cross-country, like, international trips to create and inspire? Um, I kind of do want to go across America right now, hit up a lot of the national parks and paint there, hopefully get people inspired to just go out and 
see what's in our backyards, you know? Oh my gosh, chat, what do you guys think about an Angela Sung tour where you meet her <laughs> at certain wonders of the world? Like, we're doing a meetup at the Grand Canyon, let's get together and paint. I would go to that. <laughs> would you, you do that? <laughs> Come join me. <laughs> yeah, I will, let me know. I've, I feel that today has provided a lot of inspiration and like, ugh, like there's so much creative energy in this room and like so many talented people. And um, I guess this is more of like a personal question, but like, there, there exists so many creative people in the world right now, and and do you find that their creativity and their their skill set or skill level does that intimidate you or does it inspire you? Well, I think it really inspires me, but also intimidates me at the same time. But I kind of like that intimidation because it makes you feel uncomfortable, and when you're not comfortable, you work harder. So I think it's kind of a good thing, but well, it makes me good feel really work sad. ethic because there's a <laughs> lot of people who will take that intimidation or like. I can never do that into like shutting down those doors, closing closing off those those broad openings, and uh, you know like it, it, you really can make your dreams happen. You just have to know that it takes footwork and it takes a lot of patience. You just put your feet to the ground and make it happen because you can be like Angela, Ooh. who is a world traveling, <laughs> a highly highly talented artist. Um, and I, I can't. Oh, I'm so I'm so inspired right now. <laughs> um, do you have Do you have any sort of? Um, uh, I was gonna ask about. You. I like. I wanna. I wanna know about you streaming more. I wanna know. Like, I want you to promise me. <laughs> I want you yes. to promise me that you're gonna do creative streams because part of what today is 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 you know people broadening their their creative streams to have there be more creative streams on Twitch. Please tell me you're planning on it. Okay, I yeah. promise you. Yeah, yay, yay! Okay. So, what is uh, what is your favorite part about the whole creative process? Um, I guess it's kind of like what I was saying earlier. Um, just the intimidation. I like failing a lot because once you fail, you know that you can have so much room to improve. And I guess it's just great to see, like, reflect back a few months like later. You could be like, oh, I couldn't draw this before, but now I'm pretty proficient at it, and it's really encouraging. Do you see? Do you actually see like a significant change in your work in like the span of like weeks or months? Yeah, um, especially after um, we paint like with my group every week, like it's just so cool. Like you could see improvement within a month. I think. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, I mean, now that now that I've added you to the list of my favorite artists. Um, who are some of your favorite artists? Who inspired you? <laughs> it's interesting. My taste has really changed over the years. So I used to not like Mo Monet, for example, but now I'm like a really big fan of his work. I really like John Singer Sargent and a lot of Californian-based artists like Peter Chan, Mike Hernandez, Nathan Fowkes, Darren Quach. There's just too many to name, you know? I can't, you know what's really funny is when we were watching that intro video before, I was like, I keep looking at our legs on <laughs> I know, here. I'm like a corgi, I can't sit down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel, I feel real hot right now. Um, uh, but I was looking at your art style and I was like, I didn't want to, like it sounds so generalized and stereotyping, but I was like, that's very Monet. <laughs> it, it really, like, I, I just, I want to sit down and like watch you in your art style because it's just so like you have to have a, a good idea and a concept of the color wheel do you feel like um, uh, did, is that something that you learned in school did you go to school for art um, I went to Art Center Call of the College of Design but I dropped out so oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but practice makes perfect yeah. and so if, if someone wanted to kind of learn more about the color wheel and and color dynamics like do you have any resources that they could go to and find out about it? Um, well, you can come to my group and I have Ooh. some people that are really great at color, like Michelle, the, the person I mentioned earlier, earlier, she's really, really good at color. Yeah. So uh, basically we're going to go to Angela for our, our, uh, our art classes. Um, um, so, so you said that you, you constantly, you, you enjoy, it sounds weird saying you enjoy failure, um, uh, but where do you see yourself in five years, failure or success? you know, aside. So it's kind of like that question you asked about my art. I kind of want to make sure that I have an impactful message like for the future. Mm -hmm. I don't want my art to just be like a pretty picture. I kind of want it to have more influence about like the good things about this world. And hopefully I can accomplish that. Not maybe not within five years, but like throughout my lifetime. So has there ever been an experience that you've had while painting or after completing a patient uh, painting that you were just completely like overcome with emotion? Um, Does that happen to you? Am I the only one? Am I weird? <laughs> no, no, you know, you're just really in tune with your feelings. But <laughs> maybe I'm not at that point yet. So, yeah. I'm an emotional thinker, an emotional painter. I don't think it's necessarily that bad. <laughs> I think it's really good. Okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. You 
giving us your time. I can't, ah, oh, man, I can't, I, I seriously hope you stick around for a little bit because I would really like to pick your brain. Okay, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> um, but up next, we actually have our uh, TKO battle to the death, but it's not really a battle to the death. It's just, so we have three artists and we've got Angela Iffy and myself going head to head or hand to hand, I guess, <laughs> in a battle. Taking it over, uh, are we going over? Am yeah. I doing a thing? All right, Lucas, let's switch it. Let's do a thing. interesting as a euphemism for disastrous. Yeah. I was just trying to no, give a okay. nicer way. Throwing shade, it's fine. No, yeah, Angela yeah, yeah. was amazing. Angela yeah. was the best part of this whole dang <laughs> yeah, so far. you're right. Awesome. It was definitely not me. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, it is the time now for our TKO Battle to the Not Death. <laughs> Pamela Ippy and I are going to be coaching our artists through creating the perfect t-shirt. But before we get started, we're gonna allow you guys to uh, introduce yourselves and we're gonna get close so people can hear you. Hi. Hi. We'll start on the left. Yes. John, take it away. Hi, I'm John. Awesome, great, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. And? Hi, I'm Visual Jamie. Yay! Yay! And I missed a Creed. All right. Oh, yeah, that's three E's. Yeah. Creed with three E's. And then in the back, we've got the host of this extravaganza. Hey, I'm my pop official. Hey. Yay. All right. So my understanding is that Pamela is the only one of us that has ever played this game in any incarnation. Uh-huh. So we're going to let her so attempt explain to explain it. it. Okay. Yep. So TKO is basically a shirt designing game uh, by Jackbox. And uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get prompts to design a design. And then you're also going to get prompts to put in a catchphrase. And then we all vote on the catchphrases and designs mm. put together. So say you put in a phrase, but she gets a design that gets selected. So the two of them together make one shirt. That's the so, perfect t-shirt. Technically speaking, two artists are going to be the winners. Mm. So, But is it possible that one artist could have the art and the catchphrase? No, I don't think that okay. they can be That's paired not together. That's how it works. Okay, perfect. I don't Great. think it can be paired together. So everyone's a winner except the one person who's not. But the coolest <laughs> part about this is the winner of this has their shirt printed and we're going to be giving those shirts away, correct? Yes. To the audience? That is correct. Oh man, you guys better be hyped up it's and it's gonna be great. Prepare prepare your, your voting yeah, times. Yeah. Alright. It's, it's time to get prepare that. Okay, so what okay. do we got? Oh yes. I like right, this. Awesome. Okay. It so, looks like yeah, I like that shirt. Yeah, I like that. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, are you guys ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. You can okay. you can Victory goal. Okay. <laughs> okay, sit back and relax. Okay, here oh, we go. Guys, okay. All right. There's the. Oh, nice. We got it up there. Yeah. TKO. Welcome okay. to right, TKO. Well, Perfect. To I am the tournament master. And if anyone I like that. KO. It looks like a fighting a 3, game. Year old well, I mean, how it's cloth, creative competition. Ugh. 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 Okay, we got like an island, island with a volcano of happening. Oh, wait, no, that's the yeah. next move. You guys are here Back for the TKO. It's like a TV Oh, yeah, we're talking about I'm more of a military man. It's a TV Get nasty right out the gate. Chapter one. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know this was gonna be so involved. It's a uh -huh. story. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm on fire. Yeah, oh. we are. We're a little. We're a little oh, wow. fire, dude. Okay, it is. Your visual flaming. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 Master Pam hits it again. I love it. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, so this is where you're drawing any okay. design. Any design you want to. Oh, just go down just here and change anything? the background if you want to. Oh, okay. I mean, I feel like we should draw something that's like inspired by this environment. I'm feeling maybe like a, a magical seal. I'm going to let you do you. Yeah. You're, the, you're the artist here. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like that would be really unexpected because you think of seals with I can hear you guys, you know. I can hear everything you're plotting out and I can also see it. Yeah, well, you know. You can do, well, usually it's it's best to do like QT designs because yeah. uh, the audience is voting on this, correct? It's true, yeah. I think the idea So is you want to be... appeal to the audience, not to us. Well, I mean, you yeah, can appeal is, to us. This, yeah, this is You'll get nice. cool points, but. Oh, there we go. This is like way more involved than playing drawful on your phone where you're just trying yeah. to draw with your finger. Yeah, I almost feel like it's cheating because right. of how, you know, like. It's gonna be you're also oh, drawing with your, you have to so watch your hand. hand. Yeah, I think it's the okay. back button. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, excellent. I guess you're just gonna have to roll with that. All right, I'm gonna... <laughs> I know. You gotta do the hover hand technique. Yeah, okay. Even though I'm not actually like, Terrible at drawing in real life. Anytime I try to play draw pole on my phone and draw with my finger, it's it's unrecognizable. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. This is good. Oh, that's I'm a guy. Like a, a ghost fish oh, situation. My yep. is that, oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's got one whisker. Oh, there's a time limit, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there you go. Uh, well, there's going to be a lot of incomplete pictures. Your second drawer. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of oh, incomplete pictures. We're back, we're back. We're good. Okay, we're back. Okay. Okay, can you keep adding whiskers? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I see it. I see it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, now I'm, get, I'm getting the flame feeling from that now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really dynamic. Okay. Yeah, I like I it. I like it. I like it. So is, is this the nose then, yeah. or is that the mouth? Okay. Um, okay, okay we might want to add a mouth. Okay. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, so cute. I mean, oh, yeah. Like oh, I like that. Like a, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm like, I'm non committal in terms of what my emotions are right now. Yep. Yep. I like, I like it. it. Does he need a little, does it need like some flame around the head or what do we think? Yeah, fire crown. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yes. And it looks like, you know, like the, the guy said, had. <laughs> That's okay, that's that okay. Has the, the you can never read on their Jackbox game, so anything you can yeah, yeah, heck yeah, do it, do it. Is there forever. Yeah, man. Oh, Every yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, yep, I'm feeling this. it, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. This guy I'm defies so right. actual He's science. Right yeah, exactly, because it can be on fire underwater. I don't know why you're <laughs> this. Oh, yeah. It's so clear to me right now. <laughs> Uh huh. Yep. Oh, oh my God. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. 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 Are we done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it good? Are we back? Okay. We more back. time. Okay. <laughs> Why does it keep coming back? Are you doing that? Oh, you get three chances. Oh. oh. Wait, are you supposed to do oh, three different color. drawings? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we've all been Let's working see. on one drawing yeah, the whole yeah. time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It comes back to the okay. same drawing. Yeah, well, so. Let's do what we're doing. I like what we're doing. You draw three designs. Well, these are going to be uh, three in very similar designs for everybody. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. We got like a full environment going. I like that. Here. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Now remember, this now is going to go on a shirt. Add some flowers. Oh. No <laughs> this is going on a shirt, guys. You're doing art. Yes. For shirt wearing. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the eyes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. See what you're doing there. Right. Where should you look? Uh, he should be looking, oh he should God. be like side eye judging yeah. that fish, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going on over here? Yeah, exactly. Here like, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look like oh, that. Oh, crushed it. Crushed and it. and uh, a lot of, a lot of the, the audience can't see what's going on on these screens, but. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah, it's cool. You're, you're gonna oh, be yeah. it's cool. delighted <laughs> yeah, I wish we by the one design count. that we worked on for all three sessions. Yeah. So we're supposed to like each other's drawings. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. sportsmanship! Yeah, yeah. Exactly. sportsmanship. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We yeah. like that. I like what you have there. Thank you. <laughs> I like what you have. <laughs> I know. I'm like. Oh. oh. Okay. That's the third one. Okay. Is it? Is it the last yeah, one? Yeah, is the last good. one? 
I think that was. Okay, we're gonna find out. <laughs> You've been connected. Oh, no. oh. We got disconnected. Everyone got disconnected. All oh, well, the, uh -oh. At least now we can do So basically, it. all the art this. you guys have worked on today, we didn't want any of it to get <laughs> saved. Any <laughs> of exactly. it. Exactly. That was just, that was just, you know, it was only We fair. wanted to build you up and break you down. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's just, you know, teaching, teaching the audience. Okay. Be ready to I didn't draw step on the power time. cable. It's Pandora. Nothing got turned off. Yeah. Are we doing it again? <laughs> the chat did. Okay. Looks like the Jackbox server kicked you. Uh, okay. uh, Jackbox Again, is like the theme of today, guys, is that this stream is too cool yeah. for where technology has it's advanced to. Way too cool. Yeah. Actually, technology is going to advance because of hyper creative. <laughs> it's true. It is known. It's just a fact. It's, it's a science fact. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it should be jackbox.tv. <laughs> Hey yo. Okay, do we need a new a new four letter code? We gotta restart. You can't show it's on screen. Okay. Yeah. God, Lucas. Because otherwise, other people will join. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody in chat earlier was like, "Are you sure?" It's, no, it's already up on the screen again. But we can't show that. Don't show it. Don't show it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> we gotta join first. You guys, uh, we're professionals. Mm -hmm. We know how to run an operation. All right, are you guys all ready to type it in? <laughs> yes. Yeah. A C W I. Okay, starting all right. over. All right. all right, do we want to pick a different avatar this time? Mm, should we? Uh, mm. It's a fresh start. Yeah, exactly. Fresh start. Uh, new world. Yeah. Uh, that guy looks. Fun. Oh, That's wait. well spun. Or maybe it. not. Okay. Maybe we should pick the one that looks kind of like a button. Uh, yeah. In honor oh, of Hyper man. RPG oh, Thumpers. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I like that. I like that. Sounds like a shonen protagonist. I'm ready to do this. Is everybody ready? Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, oh, now, now, now we all have the different colors and the different backgrounds. Oh, the first oh, round was a TK. practice round. Exactly, that was just a warm up. It was a warm up. But that's not all I am, you know. <laughs> I also play the oboe. <laughs> I brought you all here to T shirt island because you are the Earth's last hope for survival. Okay. <laughs> no. Can you imagine? Speed paint. No, no. Speed, We're just speed going to make paint. some funny T shirts. You have to hit the submit button before the timer ends. Oh. oh! So we want to do three different drawings. Quick, quick drawing. Cool. Begin. Quick drawing. Probably on the screen. Oh yeah, it's right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. You have 88 seconds. And go. Okay. No pressure. Two seconds. All right. Now we can see. All right. You got eight seconds. Okay. Well, <laughs> channel that that fighting spirit. Never lose. Going back yeah. for the same thing. Never lose, yeah. little little fighter person. Except now we know what we're doing. Yeah, little yeah. fighter dude. Fighting ghost dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fighting ghost dude. I like it. You guys are changing it up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's like it's almost like. Oh, yeah. Clay face in a way. Yes. But I, oh, I love, yeah, I'm feeling this. I love how all artists do that little hand wiggle yes. when they're trying to figure out what it is they're yep, doing. Yep, yep. Like oh, the yeah. hover That's hand wiggle. Like. It's like a chill you probably dose. need some He's facial like, features. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, determine. Yeah. 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 Alright, let's go. Uh, looks like we got 30. 30 I love this ready to so go. much. Yes. Perfect. You guys can see maybe, uh, can see like John's work. Tongue sticking out of his mouth or something. It's like, the one oh, you're yeah. going to be voting for. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I love I like it. That. Yeah, I submit. Like I think we click submit. Yeah. Oh, we got. We got. We got, got ten, ten seconds. seconds ten seconds. 
I feel good. There was nothing else we needed Nine, to add to that. Eight, submit that bad boy. Hit the check mark. Woo! Two, one. Okay. All right. I couldn't have done that. All right. Next Excellent. round. Next All right. round. All right. I could. Go. This I like how we're like. Woo! Like <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> that was tough. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, round two, okay, let's go. Time... Let's try a red background. Yeah, you're doing three, three different I feel times. like everybody got that gray. We're going to mix it up on them. Uh, Woo! Nighttime Ooh, I like okay. that color. Maybe, um, let's go. like a, a, a night bird. Oh, yeah. Bird. Yeah. Ooh, I like this. It looks like a little cyclops joint. I like I'm it digging already. It. Oh, he's Ooh, happy. See, we're already on a... Ooh. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. yeah, a little creamy yep. alien. I like that. Oh, yeah, I like this. Yeah. Just the stomp oh, yes. squad. Oh, yep, I'm, I'm see, feeling this. <laughs> Ooh, see, we're getting what we always like wanted, which was a squid. <laughs> Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So we're getting the squid. Well, I mean, he's, it's he's not happy. a bad thing. He's day. like, yeah, I want to hang okay. with y'all. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, to add to the environment. Ooh, and he has yep. sandals on. I dig that. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Good. Uh, you have uh, 78 seconds. Oh, we got plenty of time. Oh, I like that. Yes. Ooh, yeah. It's a space verb. Yeah, it's a space verb. A butt rocket. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah. cheating. Let people know. <laughs> that's Let cheating. No. Oh, that makes He's me thinking. think of that episode of Invader Zim where he's launching chickens in space. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. He's happy about life, He's, but he's oh, mad at, at the same yes. time. Look at that. Like, Y'all don't know what I've been fire. You Is may want to finish up. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. That's a barfing dude. Right, does he... I love it. Yeah. I love yeah, exactly. it. Oh, we got... <laughs> I feel like he needs got... more like federal yes. or Second, second. Oh! That was one. 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 Well, you guys can finish out this drawing, though. So you can finish it out and then start the next one, I believe. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, I was like, I can believe. we hit submit on this and then do one more? There we go. Yeah, yeah I oh, feel like yeah. it's clear what that is. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we can be the guinea pigs on the submit thing here and see if that just yeah. ends it for us. Okay? Oh, All right, I think that's it. Well. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I feel good. I feel good about space burp. <laughs> well, yeah, so at least we just take all the time submissions. because it just exactly. ends it. it ends it. So. Are you doing doodles so as well? Yeah. Nobody's commentating on you, Jack. What the heck? What the heck? This is horrible planning on your part. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, no, we're going. We're going. We're going, hello. Ooh, I like that. It's like, yo, I'm a monster. Here I am. Yeah. Oh, I'm still coaching because we didn't, we didn't click into it. Coach yeah. All right. I'm doing a dance. Yeah, I like that everybody's dancing right now. I love it. All right. Oh, nah, 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 nah. I think other people are still shot. drawing on the internet. Next, we yeah. need some <laughs> hot <laughs> new slogans. Oh, that's your job. Go. And all that's left is voting. Oh, Write something funny or all clever right. or anything at all. Oh, funny or clever. Say, uh, um, let it slip, okay, let right. it slide, so and let it ride. Okay. She's just straight let up it taking slip, it over. Let it okay. slide, because okay. we're here to rock. That's not your best material. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Exactly. Something happened. Something happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened. Swipe what? thing. Uh-oh. I don't know what the... Ah, there it is. There it is. What's the... I don't know what happened. Okay, it's certainly not happening. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Perfect. Okay. Oh, okay. Boom. Maybe another one just, I guess it's two. Yep, I like it. Pop. I like it. Perfect. Pop yeah. it. Okay. Lock Gotta it. Another one. <laughs> but don't drop it. Mm -hmm. Time is not for decoration. Finish quickly. <laughs> awesome. All right, all right. I don't know, do we keep putting oh, do we stuff just keep in? Writing? No, I, the check mark is there, so. Whoop. Yeah, we're waiting for other people to submit theirs. This is going to be okay. good. Okay, yeah. all right. Oh, boy, what this is, is my favorite part. What is happening now? Make your shirts now. Oh. Let it slip, let what? it slide, because we're here to write. Yeah. Like, is I think, are we, we're voting oh, on the one? Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, we oh. put the oh. shining oh. crazy oh, yeah. diamond. Oh, I, that's pretty good. That was pretty good.
Ding dong. Okay, keep going, keep going. I'll do it all. Yeah. 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 That's a, yeah, I mean, I like that. It, it, it that hair right now. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah, I like that. This is great. I'm I'm really delighted by the idea that one of these is actually going to be featured on a t-shirt. The one yeah. that we just put together, I would purchase. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. 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 Booyah. Oh. 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 <laughs> OK. I mean, we have to. We got to go to this. OK. So. Oh. Which one do we want? Wait, why is my mom here? Keep shining in yeah. crazy diamond. <laughs> oh. Yay! Yay! Alright! <laughs> I love keep shining in crazy diamond. Alright, versus. Oh! oh. Never done! <laughs> Deployment. Just scoops it up and begins running with it and just slams it in the oh. side of the hill. Warriors, prepare for combat. Don't overestimate your station, dude. Skitch M Talon. Twice hashtag Talon and a five hashtag superior to boot. Woo! Time for someone to die. Maybe Talon. Hashtag what? off the power. Come what? on! What is this? Bye bye, asshole! Snack boy, get the snack action. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yep, I like it. Yeah. Oh, God. oh yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> a little little tum tum. All right. Okay. Does he need like some some flames? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's not okay. on the screen anymore. Oh, yep. Eighteen. Okay. Eighteen seconds. Eighteen seconds. I got eighteen seconds. Oh man, he's angry. What is what's right. going on here? I'm rounding, thinking it's at, we're at 10. Oh, Nine, really fast. Eight, okay, seven, okay. six, I think we're good. five, four, oh, got it. three. Oh. Okay. I think because Make you didn't press the bit, it's going to let you go into the next round or something. Oh, oh, oh something oh, funny okay. or clever or anything. Oh, wow, this is just yeah, one shirt. Okay. Right. One shirt, okay. make it since hurt. We, since okay. we did the first one. Oh, I love it. Okay, um, right. Uh, perfect. Got it. And be good. Oh, All right, big baller, bro. 
Ram, baby! Before time runs out. <laughs> oh, wait, you can keep typing them until the end? Oh, okay. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm learning all kinds of things about this. Did you close yeah. yeah. out of it? Uh-oh. Okay. I think we just have to open <laughs> Jackbox. Oh, okay. I think that's going to be, yeah. yeah Jackbox. Yeah, that's in uh, TV. In a hand. Uh oh. I think we're still probably <laughs> in. We're just not going to be able to watch it. Maybe the too, baby. I surprised you. I like Tim and Tim's spring break. What do you like? Oh, like, uh, no, you can. It's, we on. choose one picture. Oh, one, one, and, okay. and then one frame. Oh, you hey. did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. You got to vote. Got to vote. We have to pick a thing. Uh, oh, man. Oh, go back to the taco one. <laughs> Yeah, go back. There's something about a taco. Yes, taco good. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I hope you I'm glad wisely. I keep picking phrases that you guys are like, yeah. Women's yeah. out. Go taco. Women's out. Go taco. <laughs> See? Oh. oh. So oh here's God. the voting. All right. Oh, can we get that on full screen so we can see it? Can't do it. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah. so awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's good. They're oh. both good. Oh. 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 Narrowly edged out. Bye bye. Yes, think, that's my bye. Did someone draw that? Because I think that. Versus? Uh, from the game? Backlog, yeah. <laughs> oh no, something happened, John. Yeah. We're, going, we're going all the way. We're going all the way, Cancun. Cancun, all the way. Uh, Cancun, all the way. <laughs> Do you think that was a their drawing? Yeah, an in game drawing. Unless. Uh, email me. Oh! Cancun, oh, we're going all the way! We're going all the way, Cancun! Winner! Chicken dinner. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Too taco. I or want not too taco. Fuck. We're going all the way. Yeah. We're going <laughs> Team Cancun. <laughs> Team Cancun. <laughs> yeah. All the way. Yeah. All right. Eyebrows on that face. I, there's, there's something they there. Got, they got. They got. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I yeah. think Taco has defeated yeah. Spirit. Right, ta taco. Taco is the root chain. Clappity, clappity. Clappity. I do like the drawing of the taco. Ooh, you winners look All right. good. Noise. All right. <sighs> Awesome. Yeah, chapter, chapter five. five. Chapter okay. Are we the best Are we drawing more? The previous rounds remain. The tournament ends here. Shirt gets real. That's what it says. That's amazing. Shirt gets real. Oh. 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 oh it's the battle. It's the final battle. It's coming back. Let's go full screen. We gotta Whoa. see this one. Woo! Cancun. We got it. Taco versus We're going. wait. Why is my mom? All right. Oh, All right. Man. Let's do it. That Cancun one, it's, uh, I think it's, I think I'm, I'm voting against the Cancun one because I know that that's, that is the jackpot. Yeah. I mean, like, I want, we have featured artists It's here, true. Right? We have featured the artists. I mean, whoever captioned that did a great job. Wait, us three, three voted, three. us three yeah. voted and Cancun still won. Oh. Versus? The audience clearly likes Cancun. Oh. oh. Okay, cool. it be a anyway. team I, that's a shirt I want to wear on my body. So, Cancun, I don't care if this game generated. I need to wear that shirt in real life. <laughs> in real life. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, no. Cancun, no.
Yeah, solid tricks. I'm not, you know, self tricks. Rainbow or <laughs> insane face. <laughs> They were both. Think about wearing it on your body. Let's go. Oh, I, don't think, I don't think we matched up. Yeah. We tried. I mean, we were semi-responsible for both of those shirts. So. Exactly. I think I, even though the art may not be one person, it's yeah. collaborative. It's true. It's true. It's true. And hey. Yeah. Yeah. That was the shirt. Yay! All right. So, so that's, that's the shirt. That's the shirt. Next okay. Segment. Moving on to our next segment. Uh, Malika actually created a 3D gallery of all of the submissions to our hyper creative <laughs> contest. We uploaded an image. To Mr. Remix Mr. Studio, Green. let you guys do some captured. alterations on it, and we are going to take a look at those, and then we're going to be choosing a winner, Pamela, Zach, and myself, of one of these lovely Microsoft Surface Studios. So da, 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 da. stick around. The most exciting part of the show is coming up because someone's going to win this. Woo! It's going to be great. Hi, my name is Malika Lim, and I'm a game designer actually working in mixed reality games. Ooh. And what I did was I created this little um, VR experience that incorporated all the entries from the Hyper Creative Contest. How cool is that? So what was really funny about this contest was everybody started with the same 3D model of a hot dog. It was pretty well made, nice texture, juicy hot dog, nice buns. Anyways, um, and the kind of imagination and creative fun part of it was seeing what they're, what all these artists did by taking this hot dog and putting them in all these different scenarios. I saw somebody create um, a hot dog airplane, hot dog truck, um, hot dog firefighters, shooting hot dogs, hot dog asteroids. It was so crazy and it was so cool to see how just with limited tools and uh, a few uh, really nice models from the Remix 3D um, gallery that you could create these like really fun scenes and then how easy it was to just um, download and export these models as FBX files and those can go straight into Maya, into Unity, into any of these um, big old mainstream 3D um, software and then we could create a VR experience in like a night. I think there was something really cool regarding walking around the actual entries. Um, some of the entries really considered kind of how it would look from all sides and being able to physically walk around them in VR was incredible. I also was able to pick up the ent ent entries and like look at them from all sides, which was a crazy experience. And what was really mind blowing was that this was a paint 3D, uh, all paint 3D creations. And now there's just this accessible 3D software that everybody with a Windows 10 computer can have for free and you can create these awesome 3D virtual experiences with free stuff already on your computer. Oh my goodness, this kind of reminds me back when I was a kid, I started playing with MS Paint and that was my first entry to digital art and I would play like pixel by pixel, creating these like wonderful masterpieces and now everybody has 3D software on their PC, what?
that, I'm going to tell you to zoom in on that camera because that's way too wide. That and I was, was. That's when I'm sitting here. Nobody's looking at the camera. Gonna punch All right, face. guys. So we've got. Amazing. We've got to vote. You guys just saw all of these creations uh, that people did for our hyper creative contest Such using Paint 3D, and everyone had to start with a hot dog. Yep. Because they let me pick what people got to start with. <laughs> and that, that was what you felt like was the most important thing to be artistically represented. Were you hungry oh, yeah. when you chose? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Yes. Fantastic. Definitely. And I had just eaten a hot dog, right. so cool. it was, that was cool. a great idea. Let's do that. So, uh, so guys, you're gonna help us out. We are all going to give a grade A mm -hmm. through F on what we feel about a piece, mm -hmm. and we're gonna talk about it for each one. And then the audience will also get to vote. And then uh, we will combine all those uh, votes at the end mm -hmm. and add them up. And whoever has the it's kind of like A equals one, B equals sure. two, sure. C equals three. Whoever has the lowest score at the end ends up winning. A Microsoft Surface Studio. Oh, buddy! Oh my God! So A is one. Okay, so this is like golf. Yes. You want a low score. Yeah. Are we, low score. Are we opening this up to the chat? Oh yeah. As well? Absolutely. Okay. Oh yeah. So once we start talking about this first one, we'll get a poll started in the chat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you guys will be able to vote. So the very first one, if Lucas is ready to cut to it, uh, is from Vicious Fool, and this is Monster Attacks. Gracious. This thing is nuts. I didn't. I, what I really like I about this is um, the extremely creative use of the hot dogs because I initially looked at this and went, where are the hot dogs? And then I realized, oh wait. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. They're if you look everywhere. down here, there's also a leg. If you look over in this corner, there's a leg that is missing the hot dog that it went to. That is so wait, where is funny. It? You turn it. See, oh, oh wow. yeah, yeah. Oh, you were over there. I saw it. zoomed in. See that? There's just yeah, a leg. There's just a leg oh, chilling. Is it that guy's leg? Is there oh, a guy up here? Is there, is there like, what the? Yeah. Oh my god. These guys are having a day. This so hot like, dog town. But day. see, the thing is, like, they took, they took the theme and they didn't make it necessarily yeah. about hot dogs, mm -hmm. which I feel like creativity is a little bit more than just creating art. It's creating a story, mm -hmm. and you're telling a story yeah. with this piece. Yeah. And this is a crazy story. Yeah. There's, it's really cool. <laughs> there's definitely a very clear story going mm -hmm. on here. As I say, it was very unexpected use of the hot dogs. I like that, you know, the, these little hot dog guys over there, they've got like little uh, police hats on and, and they're, they're shooting, shooting hot dogs. Shooting little Couple hot running dogs. away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wouldn't that be kind of like, like Cannibalism shooting their babies? Hold on, hold they're on. shooting their little babies. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, a hot dog sacrifice. <laughs> and they also look excited to be running away. They're like, yeah! There's so much. Like there's so much excitement. detail. Either that, or they they're yeah. also accomplices to the monsters, mm. and that's why the they're surrendering police officers, to the police. Yeah, they're like, don't shoot, don't shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you guys know about how you want to vote on this one? I'm gonna have to give this one an A. Yeah. Uh, I I gotta give it an A. The A. The level of detail. It's just. Uh, yeah. It's. Giving it an it's A. Insane. I have to. I'm just. Again, it was so, this was so unexpected for me. It's not, again, it goes back to that idea of like creativity being not a literal interpretation of yeah. the item. And we're clearly seeing that here. It's, uh, what I enjoyed was that uh, hot dogs are made for eating and they are, I mean, they're being attacked, but not necessarily yeah. eaten here. And that's why I want to give it an A because you step <laughs> outside your comfort zone and you're yeah. in a box and you, and you make something like this. So I uh, closed the chat poll. Everybody gave it an A. Holy oh shit! My goodness. Everybody oh gave man, it an A. So that, that is that, that is starting hard. off. Yeah. yeah this is gonna be tough. <laughs> this is gonna oh, wow. be tough. And okay. All right. So that's uh, contestant number one. Who is our second contestant? Show dog. All right. All right. So we've got the so knackered show dog. Let's pull this up, guys. You can look at all these on your own if you go to uh, 3D Remix dot com or remix 3d dot com sorry i messed it up remix 3d dot com uh type in hyper rpg in the search bar and you can directly look at these two while we're showing them off here and open them in 3d download them mess with them uh all you gotta do is sign up all that good stuff all right so let's let's open this one up oh i didn't oh. even realize it said infect on it and hector's face is really Oh, there's, oh a, there's a bun there's, there's, a, there's the bunnies logo inside, the inside the dog there's some tires on there that oh, also the have logo. hyper rpg on them uh, oh wow. Okay, Hector's face. That's that's super uh, creepy. So is Hector I'm very tries? creeped out by this. Say, is this like the, the Hector's right? soul is trapped in there? Or no 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 no. Hector. Oh my gosh, this is really weird. Uh, this is really I mean, weird. there's a lot of attention to detail. Ooh. 
but I am. Right. Um, I think I think the part that sticks out to me the most one is that the the tires are just like the the bun is just resting on the tires, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and the hot dog isn't inside the bun. If you turn not all it, the way, no. If you no. turn it, you'll see no. that it's not inside there. It's just lots of room that, for condiments. In yeah. There. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, the condiments go on top. Who puts yeah. their condiments first in a bun? Do you do that? Zach? Some people probably. Sometimes do. I like to coat it with barbecue sauce yeah. first. <laughs> oh. Wow, this the is bun? like a. This but is you're not like lad, like putting putting like ketchup an and mustard enough in, yeah. to fill a that line entire space. underneath. Which actually, no, 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 Maybe no. now. Well, I mean, I think now, we might cause, be onto something. The, the hot, hot dog, dog holds it in. Out. No, the hot dog holds like, it down. You squeeze and then it would shoot. I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. All right. Well, uh, I think this is really creative. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the, you know, obviously they're our fan, big fan yes. of the channel, so knackered. Uh, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, you know, from from my perspective, though, uh, mm-hmm. I am going to be a little tough on it. I'm a little tough. I uh, oh wow, they put the Hero Clicks uh, the Hero Clicks logo in there too. Yeah. It's hiding in there. Um, I would like to see more uh, use of their own assets. Just mm-hmm. even if even if it was yep. even if it was a mistake. Sure. Or if it didn't look as good as they thought it would, I'd still like to see it just for the sake of like yeah. knowing that they were like I agree. They need to testing put their, their limits. Their flavor, their personality yeah. Yeah, into yeah. this. But I do like the amount of attention to detail in terms of incorporating mm-hmm. things from the channel into the image. Because mm-hmm. as you say, Zach, they're they're clearly fans. Oh, big fan. Uh, I'm gonna go with the C on Mayan. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with a B. A yeah. B? Yeah. I was also going to go with a C because of that, that, that intense conversation that we started before. And also, too, I, I don't see, I want to see more personality. I want to see, this feels mm-hmm. like someone was petitioned to create art for us. Mm-hmm. And it was an, an expression. Which is cool. Yeah, yeah. which is really cool. We love it. We love this. You're awesome. But we want you guys to, to test your creative limits. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, show some flair. Show your personality. So... Closing I'm that close poll. Close that poll. And we got a B from the chat room. Nice. All right. All right. Nice. So we got a score of 10 on that one. Mm-hmm. Score Next of 10 on that one. Is Zach versus Hot Dog. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, boy. Great. I am so great. excited about this one. Me versus Hot Dog. Great. Oh, gosh. Great. All right. So we're loading this one up. <laughs> yeah, that's. Wow. Uh, oh. Look, that's Whoa. actually the from the charity that is, or from yeah, uh, that's last from weekend. Our last, uh, our last weekend. You're so buff. Apparently. I know. You're a buff dude. All right. I so mean, they... it's a nice artistic representation of a person. And I like Maud's face. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. Okay. How do you feel about it, Zach? This is mostly about you. It's true. Uh-huh. Um, Gosh, I mean, so this boy. this shot right here, I might, you know, like screenshot that and Make your hang that up somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Might hang that up somewhere. This encapsulates a lot of what my job is. Yep. So, and, you know. I think for me, like, again, I think this is extremely well done. Um, I'm in the background, so that (laughs) wins points also. But for me, this isn't, this is like an expected use of a hot dog. It's Zach Mm -hmm. eating a hot dog. Yeah. Which, again, it's incredibly well done. It's just not as unexpected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? I want I want people to make me think with their hot dog art. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I, I, I like know. that we picked a hot dog for this competition, but we were being super critical yeah. of its use. Like, mm, you know, well, we thought we weren't going to take this seriously. Well, I, so okay, so when when contributing to any art competition, you want to stand out, you mm-hmm. want to be different, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. everybody thinks hot dogs are for consumption. Yeah. So when you when you do something that everybody snaps to, sure, it's like sure. when you say hot dog, you think barbecue eating. Mm-hmm. I'm you hearing. I'm nice spotting. I'm imagining being in the audience and listening to us right now, and I'm like, I would, I would just be like, you fuck you guys. <laughs> but well, to that we, point, more creative uses of hot dogs. Let's break outside yeah, the hot dog let's, bun. Yeah. yeah. Let's break out of the bun. But also, too, we, we, a lot of people submitted for this, and mm-hmm. everybody's super creative, yeah. so we have to make it, you know, yeah. we have to be fair. We gotta yeah. be fair. We, we gotta, gotta be, be fair. fair. I didn't uh, know. A great attempt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, I, I didn't know that I wanted unconventional uses of hot dogs until I saw it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but again, the, the, the art is extremely yeah. well done. Um, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give it a C. Yep. Emma's giving it a C? Yep. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go. For C as well, okay. but really close to giving it a yeah. B, just just because of I know I'm gonna screenshot this. And yeah, use it. So, <laughs> you know the art's amazing. Uh, kudos to you, kudos to you for that. Um, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm I'm mm-hmm. just. It's good. Yeah. Yep. 
The more I think about it, the more it makes me uncomfortable. But great, <laughs> good, good job. I'm also job. going to give it a C for the exact same reasons. Closing up chat poll. Chad gave it a B. All nice. Right. Excellent. Nice. Chad gave it a B. All right. So and, we've got uh, an next. 11 total on that one. Well done. Uh, well done on that. Next day is Midday Munchies. And that was Hefe Blends. Thank you, Hefe yes, Blends. Yes, Hefe was beautifully done. All right. So we've got Midday Munchies. Oh, my gosh. All right, so you guys saw Mr. Oh, Creep was man. here earlier. Here's some, uh, here's some interesting use for sure. Oh my gosh. Wow, That's this so is cute. this is where we're gonna start realizing how tough this voting is gonna get. Yeah. It's gonna get really tough. Um, oh. This is really cool. So the background in and of itself is really cool. It is really cool. Um, you know, this was, it, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's a little diorama, so it's primarily designed to be seen from, from a semi 2D, yeah. semi 2D, like, uh, kind of view, but mm -hmm. it does give it some really cool depth. It does. It's got a really neat look to it. You know, and there's still definitely yeah. some... 3 d edge. Yeah. I like the... 3 d edge. 3 d edge. that's the word I just made yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like the... Uh, how expressive the sea monster is. Yeah. I also like that it's got lazy eyes, just like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, I look at that and I... And even though, as you say, Zach, it is designed to be sort of in the diorama kind of thing, but like looking... Like, I could see those eyes like turning and looking at me right now. Like, it's... Yeah. It, there's a lot of... There's a lot of life in it. There's a lot of personality in this mm -hmm. piece as well. Yeah. I also like that the uh, clouds have eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Third eyes. <laughs> and the sun's all like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Good. And can we talk about the use of the hot dog in this piece? Yes. The creative outside the bun use yep. of the hot dog. Absolutely. Here. Uh, it is still for consumption. Yes, but still for consumption. Not it is. by a human being. No. Nope. Nope. Which is, it's, it's a step outside of convention, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. appreciated. Yep. Absolutely. We all have to have like, mm, yes, monocles and, and yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the rendering of the teeth and the... the, the Actually, the teeth are really well done, so yeah. is the tongue. It's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It is pretty... There's a lot of personality in yeah. this. And I like that the whole thing does look vaguely reminiscent of a children's drawing, but with that mm -hmm. little bit of edge of like, this is kind of disturbing. Yeah. All right, time to vote. Um, oh, man. I'm going for B on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm giving it a B myself. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to see more of what's going on right here. Like, mm -hmm. I'd like to see more of, you know, yeah. some, some line work. Because I like this. I really like the line yeah. work that's moving into the piece. I think it's really cool. And I just, I want to see, I want to see more of yeah. it. Yeah, build on it. Yeah, if yeah, I could yeah. give this a B plus, I would. But you can't. But I can't, so I gotta go B. <laughs> I like how we're all on the same wavelength because I'm also giving it a B. Yeah. Okay. Let's close it up. See what the, the chat. chat. Oh, chat right. gave it a B. Also a B. Also a B. Right. Chat. Chat also uh, gave thank you, Mr. B. Creep. Now I believe Mr. That Creep actually awesome. has more than one submission of this contest. Ooh. We noticed whenever we put this contest up that we didn't specify in the rules that you could only. That, that is true. So some people entered more than once, and they That's were more. Okay. Than, they were more than welcome hey, to. Amen. I'll take advantage of those rules. We did not specify. So. Up next we have beastly meal. All right. This is the okay. other Mr. Creep. All right, so mm. we're gonna have to speed this up just a little bit to make sure we get this okay. done in time. All right, so oh, no. I actually, uh, I like this one better than the last <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. No. Uh, it looks like he had no. a lot more fun with it. Wow. Um, That's so cool. There's some really neat use of this. I, I feel like this devil thing is like contemplating the nature of hot dogs. Like to me, it doesn't like really look I, like wait, he's gonna if you, eat if it. You spin, if you spin it, like, you can tell that he used the position of the different parts of the finger to yeah. show depth, which is super cool. That is really cool. That is really cool. That Dang. is that's really playing with perspective. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like when you see it straight on, it looks like he's wrapping his finger around. Yeah. And that's 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 cool. That's really using perspective. It is. I like the perspective on the horns as well. It's, yeah. Yeah. That's really, I'm impressed. It looks really neat. It's really well I'm done. I'm impressed. I see, I see the theme in Mr. Creep's artwork. He's, he likes that, that forward, mm -hmm. but also has that depth. I also like that his pupil disappears when it starts spinning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what are you thinking, Pamela? I think I am going to give this bad boy, I'm going to, uh, I want to, uh, I want to give it an A, but I also want to give it a B. I want to give it an A plus, but a B minus. I just, I, uh, <laughs> maybe an F. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a B. Okay. 
All right. Okay. I'm gonna go with a B. Uh, I'm gonna hold myself to my word, and I'm gonna give him an A because exactly what I was hoping on the last one I saw more of. This yeah. one's doing just that, and really starts. It, I can tell that the first one was first. Yeah. And then he did this one second and started experimenting a little bit more. Yeah, I and, agree. And I just started I, like I having feel, fun with it. I feel like for me, since I do think that this one again is is a stronger piece than the last <laughs> one. I gave the last one a B, and it's the same artist. I'm gonna go mm. with an A because there's okay. some definite improvement here. Okay, and the chat gave the chat. gave it a B. Chat gave it a B right. as well. Gave it a Mr. B. Mr. Creep, Mr. Creep, score of six. All right, nice. moving on to our next uh, Next entry. one is sample.txt. Sample.txt, Oh, I looked at this one. This is wild. Uh, it's really wild. It might take oh. a little bit to load. All right, so this is John's. Oh. Uh, what the? Right? Um, Whoa. What the? What? what? Did I feel, I feel like. like yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at like some modern art installation that I don't understand. I almost feel like okay. The Fortress so, of Hot Dogs. So it, 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 did you ever did you ever read like the Ender series? Mm. Okay, so the book that the or the the cover for, they made for um, Speaker of the Dead. Okay. It reminds me of that cover. Okay. Except with hot dogs. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like just stuff floating. If 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 it was like set in space, I feel like that would have made a little bit more sense. Sure. But I can't. I can't even I can't even quantify what's going on here. Like yeah. there's wow. I mean this environment is great. Yeah. Um I I'm just get to, to keep things moving forward. Okay. Uh there's so it's like we've we've got one that we've seen so far that impressed the shit out of us mm -hmm. because of just like really creative use of the fun kind yeah. of world and everything. This to me took it to another place of creative use of just like I feel like I should be philosophical. Yeah, like yeah. a conceptual art piece. Yeah. Uh, but these textures are really great too. Like there's some yeah. really great texture stuff using those textures. Um, and yeah. I, I know that there's a lot of texture work in there because it, uh, it it was a very it was one of the it was the largest mm -hmm. um, piece that we actually had to convert over for filming. It took a long time to download and get everything ready because like there's a lot of detail in here. In my there mind's is. eye, I imagine this man is a hot dog miner, and mm. uh, in space yeah. of all okay. things, okay. Like, that would that would make the floating thing sure. make sense. And he's found the mother load here in mm -hmm. this hot dog. Yeah, I like that it's making me go like, what the fuck is this? I give it an A. <laughs> give it an A. I give it an A. Give it an a. <laughs> Emma, so cool. I can't. You know, I think for me, I'm gonna give it. A B, but it was very nearly uh, an A because I really like all the work that went into it. But I'm, I'm so confused. I'm personally gonna give it an A because so I love art. So you don't like something that challenges you? Uh, I love no, you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I love art that makes me think, and this, this definitely made me think. Closing up the chat poll, chat gave, gave it, it a, a C. C. You Ooh. guys are stupid. <laughs> I mean, I love you, Chad, but you guys are stupid. You don't even know what's in front of you right now. Look at that. Look at that. I want yeah. it. I, I mean, I'm not even sure what I'm looking at, but look at it. So cool. I like I like the way that, I mean, the the, the use of the different depths and how it changes its, oh, what yeah. it looks like in different angles. Th this, it. for I me, is like the, the thing I like most about this piece. Cool, cool. All right, moving on. Up next is Hot Dog Wand. All right. Hot Dog Wand. All right. Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, Shovexani. Oh. Shovexani. <laughs> oh my god. Card capture Sakura. That is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I equip it? It gives me plus 10 to eat it. Exactly. Oh, See, okay. this I feel like fits into the monster world where, like, the magical girls well, you know, of Hot Dog Land, this would well, be you know their what's, weapon. What's great yeah. because of Remix 3D, somebody could literally, if they have. If they have mm. paid 3D, they mm. could download this, and download the other one, and yes. just they could give it to one of the hot dog police officers. <laughs> I love that it. would be and so it, easy. And it would be like tiny little sparkly yeah. hot dogs that it shoots out. Oh my gosh! All right, I uh, love it. I'm I'm gonna give it a C myself. Oh. C. I want to see more. Yeah, yeah. C more. I want to see more. That's fair. So what do you what do you guys got? That's fair. I think for me, if it, if there had been a little more context for it, like mm. if. If there had been like a hot dog magical girl, I would have given it an A, but I do really, I, I love it. I think it's a really creative use of the hot dog, and so I'm gonna give it a B. Okay, right, got a B. Giving it a B? Yep. And I'm gonna also give it a B because 
Uh, when I think about a hot dog wand, I mean, you you would think that the wand itself would be made out of the hot dog, mm -hmm. but I love that the hot dog is the centerpiece on yeah, it. it's like the magical gem. <laughs> and I'm imagining my Taru Taru, or if you play Final Fantasy XIV, my mm. Lollafell equipping this and looking absolutely adorable. And that's why I gave it the B. And I closing like chat poll, chat gave it a B as well. Woo! Apparently I have no taste. You have, <laughs> well, I mean, hot dogs, so. <laughs> Apparently I have no taste. Maybe, you know, Yay. maybe Sailor Moon, moon wands don't sailor, personally. Sailor they don't moon. Yeah. It doesn't All right, we got to get moving quickly. Death yeah. from above. Death from above. Let's do it. Uh, so we've got this cool mech foot oh, smashing a hot dog. Uh, all right, uh, just to keep things moving along, yeah. uh, the Hefe blends one from earlier. I, 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 I think was. I want to see more. Yeah, like I thought yeah. it was better. Um, just because you, even though we were like, oh, I want to, you know, do more, do more, do more. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I think you were still getting more creative in that mm -hmm. one. I do like this, and it's a call yeah. out to an awesome mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. But uh, just keep things moving along, because I know we only got like eight minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a C. C. I think the mech foot looks really great. Again, would be nice to see more. I mean, it would be. B. Um, I wish that uh, this, I, I, every art piece should tell a story. I want to know what the story is. Why is it being stomped yeah, out? I love fair. the detail. I want to know why. What's the story? So I What's wanna, the story? I'm going to give it a C. Closing up chat poll. Chat also gives it a C. All right. right. A score of 11. Thank you. Hefe Blinds, once again. All and right. hot dog transport. Digressive. This one's really fun. This is really fun. Oh, my oh. gosh. It's a hot dog airplane. Hot dog airplane. Hot dog truck. Dog airplane, oh, hot dog truck. Wait, wait, what's underneath? What's underneath? Oh yeah, there's little a little stickers. sticker. Little stickers on Aww. here. Uh, all right, get that pole. Okay. We got the pole started, right, you guys? For me, the hot dog airplane is really great. I would like to see the hot dog more integrated into the truck. To me, this is a little Oscar Mayer wiener. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a little. Well, I mean, if you think about it, the integration would be the Oscar. That Mayer would be that truck. exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, but also too, since they're showcasing the plane that is in here, the hot dog. Are they pl uh, like? Traveling or is this, with hot dog this, parts uh, or, or yeah, parts? exactly. Is that an airplane part yeah. that's being traveled with? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, digressive. I really like it, but I'm also going to give it a C. C. Yeah, I'm also. I really like it, C. Uh, but I'm going to give it a C. Yeah. It confuses me because my dad builds airplanes and they don't transport <laughs> airplane parts and trucks. <laughs> what so. I would like to see I, again, I want somebody in the chat room to take these, put them into the scene with the monster, yeah. give one of the hot dogs yeah. a wand. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just bring those worlds but together. All of them together. Mm -hmm. Chat gave it a B. Oh, nice. Our last nice. piece is fire with fire. Ooh. Ooh. Iced Hulk with the entry. Oh, this looks Last one, guys. Oh, oh look at the little flexi. So we've got oh a little gosh, hot dog trike. Oh my God, that's so cute. Hot dog trike. Oh, look at that guy. Uh, with the Iced Hulk, his logo. That is, oh, that is adorable. <laughs> uh, with the Iced Hulk there logo There are rims on, on these wheels. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm like gonna give this one a B because mm -hmm, it's it fun. B. It's really fun. It's fun. Mm -mm. Yeah. <coughs> I yeah I agree. I, I'm gonna go with a B for B? this for sure. Okay. Yeah, reloaded here. I'm mm -hmm. also I'm also gonna give actually I want to give it an A because I love the personality that is in the yeah. fireman's face. So I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a B and uh, five four three two one closing chat poll chat gave it a B as so score well. Score at seven. Right. Score at seven. All right, guys. That means. We officially have a winner. We officially have a Yay! winner of the Hyper Creative Contest. Uh... Yay! Let's Congratulations, do it Vicious School. Yay! Yay! Woo! Actually, I mean, he's here right now. He's here. Oh, Vicious! Yeah. Oh, Vicious just won himself a new tablet. Uh, come on out, man. Come here. Congratulations. Woo. Yay. Dude. Dude. This is so this great. This is so good. This is really I love great, it. Man. Are you trying not to cry? Oh. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Congratulations, man. Yeah. We're going to ship you one of these babies. Uh, <laughs> He's like, really I can't cool. take it home right now. Um, oh, look at you, the hyper family. Can, can you tell us? Uh, can you tell us what yeah. inspired this? Yes, <laughs> this piece. I was watching a Godzilla. Okay, he was watching a Godzilla. Uh, he was
was watching Godzilla and and got into it. Kudos to all of this. Yeah, <laughs> this is amazing. That's so good. Uh, guys, thank you so yes. much for tuning into Hyper Creative, our Yay. pilot episode. Uh, like I said, uh, I think all of you should go to Remix3D.com, sign up, mm. download these models and play with them. Tweet out what you did with them. Congratulations to Vicious and to all of the people who competed. Uh, who all the people who competed in the competition, uh, we're going to make sure that we get you something, every single person who competed. Uh, you'll be getting something special from HyperRPG for contributing. Uh, special thanks to Microsoft for sponsoring this event. Yeah, uh, they're the real MVPs. Yeah, no, get, get out of here. Get, get, get out of here. No. Get out of here. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said, go sign up. Uh, follow uh, Remix3D on Instagram. What's the Instagram handle again? Remix Workshop. Remix Workshop, Remix Workshop on Instagram. And uh, this was rad. This yeah, was really thank you, you so guys are great. much, guys. All right, stick around. The series finale of Shadowrun is up next. And the volume two finale, last episode with Amy Dallin of Valiant Vanquish tonight. Speaking of Valiant Vanquish, I have one more announcement that has to do with Hyper Creative. Oh. One more announcement. Uh, our next contest, our next big contest, is a uh, Valiant Vanquish fan art contest. Oh. Dang. And we will have, you will have a month to do a piece of artwork for uh, fan art of Valiant Vanquished, our show on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. And the winner will be published in a Valiant comic book. Your, art, your art will be That's published cool. in Valiant. So it's really cool. We just got the, the thumbs up from Valiant today. So uh, you can check out the show on YouTube, but the uh, volume two finale, last episode with Amy Dallin is tonight at 9 p.m. Series finale of, series finale of Shadow Run Up Next, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank love you, you bye. Bye. To open a model in Paint 3D, click Remix and Paint 3D. From here, you can also access the Remix 3D community by clicking the Remix 3D icon in the top menu. Search for other stuff you'd like to add to your Remix. Then click the down arrow to place new things into your project. Once you're done remixing, Upload your new creation back to Remix 3D and share it with the community. Paint 3D makes creating a 3D model as easy as a doodle. From the 3D menu, scroll down to the 3D Doodle tool. The Sharp Edge 3D tool is great for creating a cookie cutter shape. Connect the dots to make your doodle 3D. You can rotate your objects, adjust the depth, and put together your final model. Select the soft edge tool and draw another doodle in the workspace. The soft edge 3D tool makes puffier 3D objects. From just one tool, you've got what you need to make all kinds of stuff in 3D.